with him in this mm. quest. Um, he he says like uh, you know I understand you probably have many other things to do, but um, I'm no doubt these these this this group will have m much wealth as well as power. No doubt have access to many um, magical items, weapons that ultimately this may actually wind up being quite fruitful for you as adventurers as well um, if you so want to but yeah he just he he's, he's, he appreciates that you that you're coming you're coming with him to Blazingdale so um who's here right is everyone is everyone like not muted by the way you're not muted are you Amy I'm not muted I'm not muted because I haven't wait, I haven't turned wait. Amy down, have I? No, I haven't heard Amy talk at all. She's been typing in chat, but that's it. Here, what? Uh, we, okay, we can't we hear. Can't you. hear you. We can't hear you, Amy. If you're talking, uh, Discord's not picking it up either. Otherwise, your thing would be have a green circle around it. So you might want to check your inputs. Nope. nope. No. <laughs> Just restart Discord. I always have to do that when I plug in my head headset. No, afraid not, Amy. Oh, no, I haven't heard. I haven't heard of you at all. That's why I asked because I was. I had suspicion that there's something wrong with you. Hmm. It must have seemed like we were ignoring you. I was surprised that you didn't pick up on it yourself with us not responding to anything you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking, to be fair. <laughs> Hello? Can't hear you, Amy. No, still nothing if you're talking. Sorry, I'm just in mind orange while I have an opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, what I can tell you is... Actually, tell you what, we'll have our conversations first. I don't know. I'll tell you after. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, you spend a good long time chatting. Um, obviously, others are I suppose quieter than others, but you also have a lot of forceful people as well so it, you know it, it comes out of them eventually even though you might have some more secretive people in your group um, would you say that you're all relatively um, forthcoming with conversation oh I'm very open like I'll answer anything anyone asks about me mm. very yeah, proud of my history or at least Nima will be sort of naively open like she doesn't care she doesn't keep stuff secret uh, I guess Riley. Uh, she might be open with Nima, but not really the rest. No, no bitch. Nope, oh, Charlotte Hines. Um. So Nima has, fucking God's sake, you two always always pair off. Hey, girl, I wasn't. That was her choice. I didn't. I didn't God damn it, Nina! <laughs> Don't encourage it. Encourage what? Oh. You and Rowan always have characters that pair off, or Rowan always has someone that he pairs off with, because if it's not, I it's didn't not Mike's character... I didn't even instigate it this time, it wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> You're still the problem, Rowan, you're still involved. Completely <laughs> mean this. <laughs> no, but it makes perfect sense, it's absolutely fine. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just like an annoying coincidence. I'm like, damn it, Rowan's specifically playing someone that's a total stranger and still manages to <laughs> have a, make a specific friend. So I'm trying to think of um, this, so who's joined. Charlotte. Charlotte's here, I think. Although we can't. Are you two, try, are you two oh. trying to talk? Because 
This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, we can't You've hear you. You've Discord enough now that you think you would have figured this shit out. <laughs> Just, I've never had a problem with more well, not for years. Hello? Mm. Oh, oh, I can see it's doing something. Yeah, yeah. But I can't hear them now. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Can you not hear us? Motherfucker. Oh my god. Hello? 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 I still uh, can't hear anything. Oh my god. god. I think I saw Charlotte speak there. Yeah, this I, is I can, can you guys hear oh, oh, can, can, can you hear us? Load it and maybe I'll see if they can hear me. Oh, I can. <laughs> I can I'm hear Rainy too, but... <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, he's, he's got issues. <laughs> oh my god. We all knew that, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh my god, Amy. <laughs> oh my days. How does it not work? How did, how did it swap? How did it swap? Okay, I can't hear you guys now. Blah, 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 blah! Amy is a big fat poopoo face! <laughs> <laughs> That's when she get, can hear again. Only that though, and goes dead again afterwards. <laughs> oh my days. Should we just continue until Amy can hear us? Sure. Okay, um, Charlotte, essentially, I was just explaining how you, yeah, you basically have decided to accompany a man called Banner to Blazingdale after mm -hmm. you discovered that um, a lady named Salisa was supposed to meet Belak the Outcast there mm -hmm. to um, discuss their evil kidnapping plans or something well obviously not that she was going to meet him because he was supposed to send some thralls to her and she doesn't seem very happy so she seems like his superior in some way right banner thinks that it's that it's part of a series of a link to a series of disappearances um to yeah that he thinks that there might there's this there's something you know awful going on and he wants you guys to uh help him to figure out what's going on and yeah. the only lead that they have is to go to Blazingdale see if they can find this Lisa and catch can her. Can you guys and... hear me? Yes. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Cool. Yeah. I can hear you. Yes. Yay. 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 So you're spending a couple of weeks traveling from Oakhurst north to a place called Blazingdale. Mm -hmm. All you know is that it's located in like a sort of a small little um, town in the um, in the spine of the world, which is north, north ish, yeah. So okay. you take you take the main path. Um, it's not really; it's just a main road, I suppose. Um, so it's a very easy sort of trek. Mm -hmm. Occasionally, you have carts passing you, caravans and such. Oh, unless you want specifically want to take caravans, you know, or a cart or something. No, uh, I, mm, uh, I don't. I don't know. I would be carrying a lot of books otherwise. I'd like to probably put my stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's take a cart. Sure, yeah. Yes, because then we, then we don't have to just carry our stuff. Because we're traveling for like, what, a couple of weeks. Just so so that'd be a. That's just crazy to do that on foot. Absolutely. Or like carrying all our stuff. So mm -hmm. at least at least the carriage to put our stuff in. I mean, Rylia, poor Rylia with all her treasure. Jesus. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Everyone See, my there. character travels by foot anyway, so... Yeah. Do you want to be walking next to the cart? <laughs> well, if there's a cart there, I'm going to sit in it. It, well, it, depends the size. it depends the size of the cart. I don't... Yeah, like, I was just thinking of a cart to carry our stuff in, not a cart to all sit in. Not like a horse-drawn carriage. More of a cart with a, like, single horse, perhaps. More like a wagon type. Not like a wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow, or, or you know, a cart that's the mm. word for it. It's like a reverse wheelbarrow, <laughs> prefer a wheelbarrow. Um, you might want to just factor in the cost though. I'm just need to get a, I need to basically figure out the, the do exact you want me to distance. look that up whilst you do stuff? It's three so it's three copper pieces per mile. Um, oh. the, 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 per the, mile, yes, <laughs> yes. 
it's, I mean, that's not bad, trip. is it? Yeah. <laughs> How many miles is it? Well, that's why I'm trying to. I'm trying uh, to understand. Six thousand. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'd rather walk for twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. <laughs> It's three weeks' journey, Amy. <laughs> she walks very slowly. No, I mean like uh, twenty minutes a mile. <coughs> I'm just trying to get <coughs> a large, large, large res um, image of the map. I'll calculate while I'm calculating the um, this. We'll just have our we'll have our little chat. So, okay. so you spend a lot of time together, and you're just getting to know each other. Um, Who's who's the most likely person to start start up conversation? Like, oh, it's going to be you know, Torgrin, isn't it? Let's face it. I think I'm going to be the most outgoing here. Props. Do you consider Torgrin to be a right chatterbox? A bit of one. I think it's more of a once he gets into a rhythm, he won't stop until you tell him to shut up. He doesn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that Torgrin's the type of person to um, talk a lot about himself, or is he just really keen to talk to people in general? It, it's a bit of both, really. It's about sort of getting everyone to know each other and getting sort of the whole. You know, team spirit and, you know, all this sort of stuff. Believe in the sort of the inter-cooperation of individuals in a group to try the better society. Buzzwords. <laughs> Not a Marxist. <laughs> <laughs> Not a Marxist, comrade. Um, he puts his red shirt on and puts his sickle in his belt. <laughs> um, so, so Torgren will be, like, just sort of, you know, would you do you think you would be particularly encouraging the more quiet people or do you think he would be specifically talking to Nima because she's the newest what, what's his usual approach I'd say that I would firstly just go for the nearest I'd probably first start like you know have a general sort of uh you know oh yeah you know traveling advice reminds me of yada yada give some sort of backstory and then see who's interested and sort of go from there then maybe try and direct a question say if Bree was listening like I direct a question at her that sort of thing Sort of start anecdotal and then bring someone in by force if necessary, but yeah. I like that approach in life. Okay. Well, start off anecdotal and bring someone in by force. Like, <laughs> you will talk to me. Oh. Um. Hello. Hello. Is that Charlotte rejoining. Can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah. we can hear you. Yeah. Can you hear <laughs> us? I can still hear you. Okay. Good. Oh, damn it. The issue is I don't know how... When I look at the map of Sword Coast, I don't know how much is a mile. Uh, oh, is there no thingy on it? Because it's not, it's not super far away, but it is pretty far. Like, Is... Oh, fucking hell. Is Charlotte back for the whole game when she's I back? back? I am back, okay. sorry. It, it, it just all... It's just all... You're... I think it's just all again. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, well, I mean, sorry, I was just thought you guys were chatting, and now we've all suddenly oh, stopped. Sure, yeah. Okay, um... I mean, fine. Um, so, I guess these aren't questions that would specifically be would specifically be asked by somebody. Mm -hmm. It's more that you start to understand people through these. From like basically, you can we as a as a group of players should be able to know the answers to these questions for each person after these conversations have happened. So I don't expect Torgrin to be going. So what is currently motivating you to stay in the like? Putting his glasses on gets to see um, fucking full paper. Can we try and wow. guess what we think the motivation is to see how well it matches up? Others. Yeah, and then see how well it matches up with what answers oh. we all have. That's I like awesome. that idea. Go on then. All right. So I'm going to give you all a. I'm not going to nominate. Actually, no. We'll we'll do it. We'll take it in turns. So. Okay. In a in a sentence, preferably not more than, not you can you can as long as it's a sentence rather than like a paragraph, mm -hmm. and more than more than just a word. Actually, well, unless it's a really really on the like really really, well thought out word, I suppose. <laughs> I want you all to think Extremely what bad. is currently motivating Rylia to stay in the party okay so no, if you want no, to so we 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 say it about you we we that's our oh, you guys gonna guess yeah yeah so no, everyone no. except nina obviously has to answer actually um no tell you what yeah has to answer so i'd like you to all whisper to me your answer 
Oh, how do we, will you tell us how to whisper again, please? Yep, so it's forward slash W space GM space forward and then slash message. W space GM. So you can test it. Test it as much as you want. There you go. Did you hear that, Charlotte? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh my god, is the wrong character. Who is this Michael F. says this free DM? My god. <laughs> I'm not retconning that. A disembodied voice says this instead of Torgrim. <laughs> okay, just wait for just waiting for Amy's response now. <sighs> you can't say she's a massive bitch. Like, yeah. <laughs> be a lot of time if you just <laughs> bitch. <laughs> okay. Right. Next, I'm just gonna make a note. So, okay. Next, um, I want you to. Tell me what you think the current motivation for Freya is to stay in the party. Obviously, except for Charlotte. <laughs> I wasn't typing, I promise. Responses. Wait, what was it? Slash dash forward slash yep. W yep. space GM space message. Ah, there you go. I saw Nina typing, I was like, is she gonna <laughs> do that to everyone? <laughs> and this Every is single... for Freya. Okay. Um... Okay. Waiting. There's supposed to be a W there, but I get it, I get it. Yeah. Okay, next, um, I want you to tell me what you think is the same question, but for Brie. Sorry, that's just that's just for me to know. To oh. separate them. Yes, thank you, Amy. Okay, still trying to find this stupid um just just need like a why is it so hard to get a map? Soul Coast map. Just something really standard. Oh that's it. Finally, holy shit. Why is that so hard? Med. Uh missing one more. Who are we missing? Oh it's all right. it's the... Don't you guys know me? I know you. Thanks. Well, the rest of... I got. You. This is when you've got my character completely wrong, and you. You're you're out for mass murder and world domination. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Pretty much what I said to Lord Kate, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. There we go. Sorry. Right. And next, what? Why do you think that Torgren's sticking around? Massive. Try to write a sentence. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was a one-word thing. Sorry, I, no, I... the opposite is. Yeah. Do you, do you, why do you want to rewrite your? Do you want to rewrite your um other ones? I would like to. Yeah, please. What I was um... trying to what I was trying to suggest is a sentence, not a word. Okay, sorry. And this is a really well thought out word. Like anti establishment anti establishmentarianism. Well, no, 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 honey. Okay. No. So don't hurt yourself. Okay, I'll try not to. <laughs> Gotta be there for ages trying to spell it. Fucking hell. Right, uh, anyway. Um, so. It's not super, actually. It's not super hard to spell. You just w separate the, w the, w the parts. Hmm. So, uh, 
Sorry, I'm still doing mine. Thinking. I can't actually. Yeah, I think you might want to just. Um, you you sent me one message, Charlotte, and then you sent another message immediately after. Is it all? Are they separate? Yeah, they're all separate. So you said sure. um, Riley at first, then you said uh, Tor, no Bree, then you said Torgren. Probably helps Laura if you include the name of the person you're talking. That's about what I'm in. about to do now. Yeah, that's what, sorry. I'm just rewriting it. Um. So um, yeah, just because yeah, if you want to actually put more in more more detail into it, you. Okay, where's this fucking map? I had it a second ago. Christ almighty. Why is it so... I've got too many tabs. That's right. Okay, here we go. Right! Here's the fi fucking miles thing. Oh god, that's way too... way too zoomed in. Okay, um, okay, 150 miles it looks like this journey is, roughly, Ooh, maybe 100, 100, so that is only 45 silver, mm. but it's per person, <gasps> Shit. so just bear it in mind, uh, so, <clears throat> so I mean, that's, yeah. that's, that's is that if we all want to do it? Because I mean, it's it's I mean, it's forty-five silver is, each. Is that if we get our own cart each? No, that's just that's just that's travel to out. hire it out. Yeah, as in just uh, for someone to take you. You're not buying the cart itself. You're just uh, paying see. a taxi essentially. Uh, that's what Riley, I can read. Can you pay for me because you have all the money? And I've bought useful things, whereas you've... I don't really have that money. Yep. I'll cover Bree's cost then. That's you don't have you don't have forty five. Oh, <laughs> well, I do. Like I shit, delete. Rip. I... Rip. What did you say? I see nothing. Wait, how much was it? Can was it forty five silver? Yeah, yeah for, right. silver. <laughs> oh, for it's like say slash no, what w. You do is you awkwardly press one and enter until it goes away. <laughs> okay, yeah. So that was huge. So 19 total. Yeah. Oh, you all suck. Well, keep going. I can still see it. I mean, it might be a pain in the ass for you. Laura to refer back to these. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I fucked up. Oh! Okay, so. um, I'm going to do it right this time. If you're already. No, oh, not for you. I I'm done with you. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. We've done numerous. No, we haven't. No, no, no. I'm waiting for Charlotte to. I'm really. I am. I am. So wait. Brie, am I paying for yours or are you. Um... Right. Which you one's the yourself? silver? Is that the second one down? That's yeah, right. the triangle ones. The problem is, I only have 28 silver. How much gold do you have? 45. Oh my gold. god. Break down you, can all, you, you can all afford this. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's not just, that expensive. It's 10 to one gold, right? So just break it down that way. Yes. 10 gold. is what? 10 silver to one gold? Yeah. That's right. Okay. 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 I'll Turkey buy it. will deduct it from his monies as well. Is it 25, did you say, Laura? 45. 45. 45. Okay. So 10 silver to one gold. So how many? It's 4.5 gold. 4.5 gold. Four and a half gold. Okay, so I'll uh, I'll take out five gold and then add five silver. Wait, wait! I need to add fifty silver, don't I? No, no, five silver. So that many miles. Let's okay. see. Let's take out five gold. I mean, that's probably only a week's travel. Let's see. To add thirty-three. Are you doing seven day weeks or ten day weeks? Does it start on the Monday or the Sunday? Because Feyran technically has ten day weeks. Yeah. All right. Um, so, last but not least, 
obviously she's very new to the group, but what do you think is that Nima is going to getting out of being sticking around with you guys? It's forward slash W space GM. I need that. W slash. No, shut up. No, don't. <laughs> no, don't. Don't, don't shut make up. a mistake like I do. <laughs> um, sorry, I realise it's too late now, but um, it it, it wouldn't. It, it, I don't know if it. it well, actually, I'd be curious to know if you guys were answering as as players or as characters. I'm answering as characters. Um, as characters, well, as character for me at least. Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, I feel like my character would have yeah. picked up as up on the same things. I think it. When you think about it, in this for this specific exercise, it doesn't matter too much because um, ultimately it's it's to see how it's almost like an uh, it's almost like an assessment board how how you guys are coming across to each other mm. and if you guys are thinking along the same path. Mm. So okay, so that's everyone. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the the player who actually plays the character who's going to tell us and then I'll tell you what everyone else thought of thought. Ooh, okay. so, like so we'll start with Nina um, mm -hmm. right you guys are chatting you just sort of you're sitting idly in this carriage who's who's sitting who's who prefers to sit in the carriage who prefers to sort of walk alongside or um, she's anyone? probably sitting probably sitting down I'm walking I prefer walking but I'll make it I'll occasionally like stick my head into involve myself with the rest of the group i imagine but yeah i want to be involved i just so you, i'm more not... used to walking so i'll be doing more walking i think than sitting i would because uh, you two are both quite slow because oh, you're shit. quite small oh, um <laughs> you would probably maybe you wouldn't have to be able to do it all the time otherwise you'd slow okay. down so i guess but you you would you'd like to get out and stretch your legs let's say don't embrace shame me <laughs> <laughs> I'm height shaming you, honey. <laughs> wow. What the fuck? Speed shaming you. Come on, you old man. <laughs> All right. I'm not uh, old, I'm just well aged. And you'll be chatting, and Riley will be. Maybe she's had a bit of wine. She's just. She managed, <laughs> she managed to. Um, she's talking about, you know, how how she feels about the, about the party in general. And, what she wants in life and what is what is Riley what is Riley um what's her motivation why does she stick around in the in the party do you think um well since we succeeded in our last mission uh, she believes that this is the right party to tag along um to study and find out more about uh litdom and how to be immortal and become smart. Okay, so this is this is this is information that you're actually sharing with people. So you're 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 sharing that you're you've you've you're very secret. You're secret, not secretly. You're you're actually very interested in some uh, interesting and dark kind of art. Um, do you do you say this fully understanding that it might come across a bit? bit concerning to others or do you say it with a sort of naivety like that's nah, you know it's probably it's normal most people want this most people want to live forever right um i suppose yeah she, she will be quite naive with it you reckon okay and so um how do people generally react um to knowing that um riley's sort of general goal is that she would She'd love to live forever, and that if it means, you know, looking into becoming a lich, does this does this concern you at all? Um, Why do you want to live forever? Um, because mm. I want to gain knowledge and power. And power. <laughs> Maybe. I just not think there's <laughs> enough time to study now. No, there's 
far too many, too much out there that I won't be able to uh, study without actually living for several years. Several years? How many years do you think you're going to live for? Mm, forever? <laughs> no, I mean, when several I years. It makes it seem like you don't think you're going to reach 80. <laughs> 80 is not enough to actually okay. absorb all the knowledge. Do you want to, like, live? Or, because... Oh, an 80-year-old who can't see, walk around, do you want to stay young forever as well? Uh, well, I've never no. thought of, of that. I've just thought it, thought of... Um having being able to live forever means gaining knowledge and becoming powerful and learning ancient stuff and bringing it to the new world world maybe have my own academy and have my own students and prove to my parents that the dark arts is not a bad thing Oh, so daddy issues is the reason. It always is, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, that was out of character. I didn't say that in character. So. Her, her parents just... Um, well, where she lived, she was kind of kicked out, basically. She's not allowed okay. to go back there because of what she's been trying to study. Okay, sure. I'm a little freaked out, but you seem... At what cost would you take this to? What do you mean? Well, would you what risk lengths would other you go people? To? Yeah. What would you sacrifice? What's the Who would you sacrifice? sacrifice? This game? Who would I sacrifice? So, so say, I don't know, yeah. I hope say I don't you have, have to murder sacrifice someone. sacrifice anyone. What do you currently value? Knowledge. Would you sacrifice knowledge to get this specific knowledge? Uh, no. If you had all of your memories wiped, and you became immortal, would you be okay with that? Ooh, so mm. lose who you are to become immortal. Mm. Well, if that is a possibility, then I will definitely make sure I've written a book about myself and my adventures and what I want to do. Before you do that? Yes. Would you risk our lives? Uh, no comment. Okay. I mean, you, okay. You, could just, you could just lie, but instead you say no. <laughs> <laughs> just say okay. no. Say no. Uh, <laughs> I refuse to answer without my attorney present. <laughs> she's not going to sacrifice her, so I incite it. <laughs> All right. So she uh, actually says no comment. <laughs> literally, the exact words no comment. Oh. Yeah. Why? <laughs> How do you re guys react to that? Well, I mean, I've heard some pretty bad stuff about, you know, liches. Especially from my time at Renal, he seemed to be very, uh, very anti the whole turning yourself into an undead creature. Now, I'm not, I'm not one to judge. If this is the way you want to take your life, that's fine. But don't they go a bit mad after being alive for a while? Like, wouldn't that bother you losing yourself over all that time? Like, you may be yourself after the first 200 years, but after 500, say? Elves, elves live longer than that, Falcon. Yeah. yeah, but elves aren't undead. Unfortunately, I'm not an elf. Um, but I wouldn't mind losing myself if I'm gaining knowledge. And oh, well, uh, your soul or yourself? Everything. I mean, they're the same thing, aren't they, Bree? But did she say her soul or herself? Oh, no, well, sorry. What, what sorry. did you actually say? Uh, self. Oh. Right. I thought you were making like a good point there. I was like, yeah. yeah. No, no, I was literally like, which, which one did you say? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> well. Um. Okay, so you're, you're willing to go pretty far for this then? All right. Of I sort of, I, I sort of shift away from her slightly uneasily, but. Just give me the old side eye and just get back to whatever I'm doing. I will prove I'd... everyone wrong. That'd be fascinating to know what you learn. Mm -hmm. 
Thank sure. You. Thank you. I've always, I've always been interested in the unknown knowledges. Liches generally keep their secrets very well hidden. Yeah. If you manage to uncover them. At least somebody appreciates knowledge. I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. I'm just saying, you know, there's a limit, he right? He can't handle it. It's too oh. much for his leather dwarf head. Was that Nima? I pat you on the head. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Oh dear. Mm. Okay. So it's, it's right here. Um, once again, making making really good friends. <laughs> the the social, the popular girl, yeah, an absolute social butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, suggesting she might, you know, she might sa consider sacrificing you all for her for her um, benefit. But you know, you're just like, oh, Riley, what you like? Anyway, so uh, I guess Freya, inspired by um, Riley's sort of honesty. Um, and if not just to sort of even out the uh, the evilness of <laughs> yeah. no, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm Did expecting. we all yeah, guess the, correctly? The dark, the, the dark tone of the conversation. Ah, oh ah, yeah. Let's go through the others. Okay, yeah, sorry. I was say. Obviously, um, yeah. You you guys are more or less correct. It's, it's she's she's always made it very clear in the party. Um, so one of you says. Um, she seeks power and knowledge, and is using our party as protection while she does so. so that's yeah. that's a bit that? more. <laughs> so that's a uh, much more. What well, that wasn't specifically sort of didn't come out in what she was saying, but uh, this is what Nima suspects. Because um, she's smart. Um, one, mean, another one of you says, "Oh, go on, go on." Um, initially, she didn't really care about the party. Still um, so doesn't. when we were in the <laughs> citadel, um, she she was using the party as some sort of protection, and like a condom. But now, although she she will use you guys as protection, she will also try to protect you as well. Oh, oh. So she cares now. Pretty gay. Um, another one of you says the promise of more money slash knowledge by sticking with us. That's what Torgrin thinks. Um, Freya just says loot. <laughs> <laughs> I said some more stuff. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she... Um... So she says, hold on. Uh, I'm just trying to find it because it's in and amongst a bunch of other stuff. Here we go. The S, 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 S. So Freya says, I have an iffy feeling about her. I think she may be sticking around for the loot. I don't think I trust her fully. Shady, shady. Well, fair enough, fair enough. You shady lady. Uh, well, the reason why she collects the loot um, is so when she gets out, she could buy uh, magical things. Um, Does she say books. that? Does she no, tell people that? Uh, no, because is, is somebody actually <laughs> saying that out loud? <laughs> I wasn't saying it this out is... loud. It's more thinking in character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, these are so... these are just this is just this is just a little exercise. This is not necessarily what you guys have actually talked about, but it's this is this is what we're th these people as players slash characters are think that Riley is all about. So you don't need to you don't need to um, just justify it or anything okay, yeah, sure. unless you intend on saying it as a character. Okay, does that no, seem fair? Yeah. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it might yeah. as well just be it might as well not really be reality at all. Okay, so. Um, and then Freya. Freya. All... I feel like I'm missing my one. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Bree also says, um, Rylia wants to gain knowledge. Happy with whatever money and wealth she gets to. So yeah, very much. Yeah. So that's more or less it. Okay, we're on to Freya now. You ready? I'm so ready. So Freya's sort of like, oh, you know, oh, we're, we're, we're talking about talking about motivation. I want to talk about me now. Um, <laughs> so, what do what do you tell the party is the reason you're sort of sticking around, or rather, what what is it that people have realised now is the reason you're sticking around from the conversations you've had over the over the week? Um, I think you are probably all aware that obviously with my background, I just at the moment I feel like it's just a bit of comfort and friendship 
and also the experience kind of i've i feel like i've bonded well with you guys and i just kind of at the moment i have to admit like over the last especially with what happened in the citadel with the goblins and and everything like that i'm starting to get a little bit homesick um i'm sorry if i've had if i've been a little bit distant or not as talkative oh. as of late but i just feel very um I don't know, I feel a little bit down and you guys are kind of like cheered me up through, you know, all our, our talks and our laughs and, you know, I just feel like at the moment, you know, as well as the experience, I do obviously, although I miss home, I want to stay for that experience and I want to stay with you guys so that I can grow as a person and not give up so easily and you guys have kind of taught me a little bit more about you know everything kind of like I've, I've never had this experience before I've never mm. you know I've never been out on the world in the world on my own so yeah yeah does anyone have any questions for Freya um would you say you've like really found yourself no, not at all. I feel like <laughs> I feel like sometimes I I make the wrong decision or you know. Yeah, I don't think I found myself at all. I feel like I've I've learned a bit about myself. I feel like I've I've become a little bit more confident. Um especially with you know What's the word I'm looking for? Being a bit more ballsy, I would say. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. Mm. And the being in the party has helped. I yeah. think so. I think so, definitely. I think it's definitely made me. I mean, back at home, I lived a, a bit of a sheltered life. I didn't really have what people would call like good friends. I, I might have had like the odd acquaintance, but I never had. A closeness that I had with kind of I know that we're not all close yet but I hope to be um with you guys mm -hmm. Aww. oh well all I can say to you Frey is that it gets easier the more time you spend on the road the more you get used to it but having these bonds that you're forming now you'll you'll remember them they'll help you when you need them most so thank you it's, it's, it's rather me. sweet of you to say that you think of us as almost a I don't want to say second family, but, you know, traveling companions, I guess. I guess. Yeah, traveling companions. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't, like, obviously, I mean, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to be too weird and go, oh, you know, you guys are like family now. Because you're not. <laughs> Besties. Because <laughs> you know. you're not. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like, I just, um, I, when I left, I had such a point to prove and the more and more the journey's gone on, the more and more that I thought, well, you know, is it worth going through this? And I've kind of second guessed myself and I've had my doubts. But you guys kind of spurring me on or helping me and kind of, you know, when I've fallen down a pit and you've helped me back out, you know, that's Literally. what it's all about. Literally and metaphorically, <laughs> I love it. Literally and metaphorically, you know, it's true. So, yeah. you know. I feel like you're you are a good bunch, although we all have our thoughts. Well, I mean, including me. <laughs> uh, hmm. Anyway. Okay. Shall we see what everyone else said? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, two of you said to see the world. So Torgren said to see more of the world, and um, Riley says to explore the world, um, and. Uh, N Nemo said, Freya seeks to find her own way in the world and experience it outside the conf con confines. Oh, I always thought it was confines. Oh, uh, yeah, you're probably yeah, right. Is. You're probably right, yeah. Of her sheltered upbringing. Sounds about right. Yeah, pretty bang on. Yeah. And <laughs> Bree said, a gap yar. She, <laughs> <wants to, laughs> she wants to find herself and get world experience. Oh, my God. <laughs> Gap yard. I love that. That's amazing. It basically is, though, isn't it? Is, it is. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> all right very good so pretty much pretty much we've got that down um so Bree, why what, what the fuck are you doing here why are you what still am here? i doing here okay so as you all knew that i was on a journey to find my family uh been on it for a few years not found them yet uh so as i found you a bunch of bunch of guys to travel with i've enjoyed the company and i'm quite interested to see how i can like learn and develop what lessons we can find and yes it'd be nice if i could find my family but right now just being with a bunch of people who understand me is Aww. good Oh, you guys are so wholesome. <laughs> oh. Well, um, does anyone have any questions for Bree? Mm. That, How long have you that... been searching for your family, Bree? Uh, yeah. About 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, I'm 25. I started when I was 15. It's all like, because well, as you know, I'm from the, the, like, the Lady Grey clan and I'm trying to find the Rubus clan so we are on different ends of the world so we have it is taking a while to get there mm -hmm. and you can imagine being a halfling oh, I don't travel very quickly oh. you can ride was a horse that kind I forgot I was can I, can I ride a horse uh, I've never tried like, I feel like I'd be okay with it it can go pretty fast um, Would anyone... she be able to mount a horse? Yeah, she she technically she can, yeah. Me travelling along a little shy of like a little Yeah, little, 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 oh my God, a little yeah. tiny one. What a war pig. <laughs> oh, that's a funny image. Um <laughs> does I, know, I feel like I have been tra trying to find my family, but I have Well, honestly, I can remember being out in the wild more than I can remember living in the tribe, so... Oh, you'll have to forgive me for my phrasing here, but how did you lose your family? It's a pretty hard oh, thing to do, right? I didn't physically lose them. They were killed by a bunch of people when I was at my grandma's house. Um, oh, God. To look after her while she was dying. So then I was there for about two weeks, came back, the whole family was dead. So what are you actually trying to find? The Rubus clan, they're, they're a tribe which is supposed to be like further north. Are, um, they, are they ancestors or something? Are they related to your family? They are related. They're always in our fairy tales and folk, folk songs and stories. Um, we lost contact with them, like, well, before I know. But I know, well, roughly where they will be. Yeah, it's just taken a while to get there. Yeah, Bree, this just... might seem like a really harsh question, but what if you found them and they didn't accept the Lady Grey clan or mm. you? Wouldn't that have all been for nothing? No, because I have, like, I feel like I have developed as a person, and I have enjoyed my travelling, and how far I've come being able to live in the wild by myself. And yes, it would be sad, but, but right now, I found a bunch of people who I get on with, so... I'll stick with you guys, and in the future, if I have to cross that bridge, then... That's good. We're happy that you stick with us. I don't know, maybe I'm not I going know, out of fear that. about what the future holds, but... I don't want to admit that to myself. It's not necessarily about the destination, it's the journey, right? No. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I like my cliches, okay? <laughs> Torgor is a cliche character, you can fucking... Aww. Yeah, but... He, he is the endearing grandfather type character, let's move on. <laughs> endearing grandfather. How old is he? 80, I think. <laughs> you think? I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm doing this off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure I wrote down, like, I think... Yeah, I'm yeah. it makes sense to be around that age, right? 
I don't think I actually wrote it down on the sheet. It'd be um, in your bio, but if you did. Uh, I did not. Oh no, but this bio. Yeah, 80. I literally wrote 80 down. There you go. Oh. And he's 5 foot tall. Exactly 5 foot. That's quite... Is that tall for a dwarf? Mm, tall for that's a dwarf. quite tall, isn't it? For a dwarf, yeah. I think. Yeah, I know like humans who are that height. You know humans that are that height. Look. I'm I'm five four for context. So I mean I'm short for a for a person, but for a dwarf. Would you really call yourself a person though? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The phrase the song concerning hobbits plays over Laura walks around. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, is, that, is that everything, Amy? I think so. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. do you want to know what people thought? Yes. So, Torgren thinks, hopes to find more of her tribe or information about her tribe slash clan. So, yeah. it's not a match. <laughs> that is a match! No, it's, it's correct, but I think what you've essentially described as this has now become... It's evolved of your of your main goal of now. It seems like things have changed a bit, which is interesting. Mm. Let me, I feel like I was wrong. I was just no, no. more fleshed out than I realised. Wrong answer. <laughs> Zero marks. It's oh, not a uh... where, where, Where's the sound effect from fucking Family Fortunes? Where you get <laughs> 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 I Sorry, think it's a match, but I've got a bit more to it. Yeah. So. Freya, well, everyone knows what Freya thinks. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't need to repeat it. She is here with the party to gain more wisdom from the experiences she has and will encounter. Duh. I suppose. Um, that much? So that is, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, would you say that's right? Yeah, but I'd also say Torgrim was right. No, 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 I know, I know, I know. I know it's not who's right and wrong, it's just that, uh, is it? True. Do you think? Do you think? Oh yeah, good? yeah, yeah, definitely. There's always a lesson which can be learnt from nature. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> my character, she actually says that. Thanks. Um, Riley just puts make friends with the enemy. Also accurate. Yep. that Riley is an enemy, and that she's there to make friends with you. We're all enemies. Ooh. Bree surrounds Ooh. herself with enemies. Ooh. Enemies of the air, beware. What? Where's that from? I have no idea what that was. Okay. It's, it's from, from Harry Potter. Potter. It is from Harry Potter. Okay, no, I was just double checking. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just shit. I'm sorry. I have no idea what you're referencing. Because I'm pretty sure Rylia is Voldemort. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. I mean, yeah. Young, she's oh, young, young Voldemort, yeah. She's like, have you guys heard of a Horcrux? Is a... <laughs> just asking for a friend. Hor Hor Horcrux is a pretty much just flag. My lactories? Yeah, I yeah. know. It's interesting, isn't it? Anyway, um, and Nima says, Brie is finding her way in the world to strive for goodness with companions that will do the same thing. You pretty Aww. much more or less summarised as well, didn't Aww. you, Brie? Which is a nice way of putting it. Mm-hmm. All right. You all know me, apart from the person who thinks I'm out to make friends with enemies. <laughs> yes. I mean, I your response to any Maybe Riley is... <laughs> Maybe Riley is too self-centered to uh to to think that deeply. Mm, probably. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, I think that's fair. No, it's, think, it's just that that's all she's seen Bree do. It's all like it rolls her yeah. eyes. Yeah. It's like a it's like a shallow way of looking at Bree, so I think that makes sense for. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Why does Torgren continue to stay with the party? Well. <laughs> Torgrim has surrounded two things by in life, girls, like, absolute, well, three things, three <laughs> things he loves in life. There's fighting, adventuring, and uh, killing evil. Okay. So, <laughs> what, what, what was that, Nima? Uh -huh. I have the talking stick. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> uh, so, well, you know, I, I met these guys when we were down in, uh, down in the Sunless Citadel, and they were... On the right path, they were a bit dicky or some nonsense about trying to help a dragon out, but people make mistakes, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> so, you know, we, we spent a bit of time, we set them straight, you know, me and Reynold took out that dragon together, and uh, 
Yeah, from, from seeing how they handle the druid and everything else down there, I think these guys, they're good crack. They know what they're doing. They, uh... Crack 90. Crack 90, yes. So, you know, I think I stick with them. Go you know, and slay a few more you know, dragons together or undead monstrosities or whatever else, and uh, I think we'll be good for a good while. Always a good fight to be had around this sort of people anyway. All right. So, uh, yeah. so you don't. Does anyone have any questions about that? Maybe. Um, Who's Renel? Oh, Renel. Yes. I sort of give a side look to the other people. He was a uh, traveling companion of mine. We 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 had a disagreement about how to handle some uh, goblin commoners, citizens. I don't know how you want to describe him. Anyway, he made a decision that genocide is a good idea, and I was a, I was a wee more uh, conservative about that, and we had to part ways, disagreed with him, then. It does seem quite a conflict. Well, he had a very black and white idea of what good and what evil was, and uh, I've had a bit more time to think on it, and I think maybe it's not quite so cut and dry. So, so you uh, share your party's, uh, uh, your current, your current friends' uh, um, values of what's good and evil, as opposed to what Renal thought. They're the close uh, to yours. I, I think there's a, a spread of views here. He says as he looks at uh, Ralia. Ralia, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> However, I think we're we're mostly on the same track. I think Bree was a, a good example for me. She was. Uh, I know we joke, she likes to always start conversations with random bugbears, and you might want to watch that in the future, dear. But, for the most part, it does make you realise that sometimes there's just other people out there trying to live. Not always trying to kill you and eat your giblets. Except for when they are, but that's what I got this for. He sort of taps his battle axe when he says that. <laughs> it's true. They are many interesting and wonderful creatures. There are also dragons out there, and dragons need to be killed mostly, but that's a different story. Ah, oh, if only I got to see it when he was alive. <laughs> well, he was a bit of a bitch, to be honest with you. Okay. Does anyone else have any uh, questions for Torgren about his specifically about his motivation? Does it seem does it seem like that's all there is to it? What's your like? Sorry, cutting your floor. How did you end up here, other than? Like, what were you doing before? Okay, I mean, I'm a bit of a mercenary, to be honest with you. I, I, the way I keep on looking around and adventuring is I have a bit of a reputation for, you know, as a mercenary, getting the job done. But I, I also make it very clear that I'm not interested in roughing up random, you know, people for money. I'll, I'll only take on certain jobs. So what had happened is me and Reynolds were hired by this guy to... Uh, to go and have a look down into these ruins, basically, and it's kind of what brought us down there. Is motive is gold your motivation? It's not a motivation. It's more of a, a signpost, shall we say? The more someone's willing to pay for something, the more interesting or the more dangerous the uh, the prize is, right? Mm, yeah, that's very true. So, you know, I, I could take a leave the gold. I need the gold to live. Don't you know? Don't get me wrong, but got enough to, to eat and whatever. I'm not going to split hairs about a few extra hundred here or there. This, this, and you feel like this party is the correct one to continue doing that? I think they know what they're doing. I think they need a bit of guidance at times, but I think, yeah. I think this is a good group to be uh, traveling with, if nothing else, to find the next big thing, as we seem to have done here somehow. All right. Very good. So the people, what everyone, this is what everyone thought, thinks Torgrin's motivation is. Oh boy. So Freya says, I believe he is sticking around for the company after, and she's put Renault as in the car company. But <laughs> Renault. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Renault. <laughs> um, after Renault departed from the group, I think he wants to stick around a fairly cheerful and in brackets, not super religious crazy bunch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is also accurate. I think the companionship is something he likes. I think it'd be fair to say that Torgrin does like the travelling as a group thing. He's done it multiple times in the past. Mm. I'm not saying... I think if he felt the party was evil. against that, so if, he, if evil, for example, yeah, or were very money-focused and not about doing the right thing, he might feel a bit less inclined to hang around. 
Mm. But it's a case of multiple things lining up at the same time. Yeah, exactly. It just seems right. Feels right. Yeah. It, it feels okay. good in his bones, you know? <laughs> Not that boy, Rowan. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, Freya's original answer was for the dank bants. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nima says... <laughs> how, did they, how did they go from companionship to dank bants? <laughs> oh, it was just... It was just because I was like trying to think of a good word for company and I didn't want to just put company <laughs> and I have to explain. So I put for the dank bands and then we got into the thing of, oh no, it's a sentence, not a, f- not, a phrase not or a one word answer. So I, I was like, dank bands is two words. You're a contradiction. <laughs> um, so uh, Nima says, Torgren feels attached to this party and trusts their judgment. He's learning from them. Mm, he's what think- them? Learning from them. I oh. think. I mean, Torgren feels like he is learning a bit. It certainly Bree's taught him a few things in terms of like how to approach this whole good evil thing. But I, I think Torgren likes to feel like he's got the experience and he's teaching them about how to, you know, <laughs> survive. Mm. How to survive. That does come across. Well, he's doing a good job is a different story, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Bree says, I'm not too sure. He seems to be there for the adventure. Hmm. Hmm. So, That's pretty much and then there's funny. another bit, and also the company. Yeah. yeah. Question mark. Yeah, I'd say that's fair. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Because okay. like I said, like both things are lined up for me. It's why I'm here. So yeah. Nobody's yeah. suggesting that he's surrounded by a bunch of like oh, girls, though. Um, <laughs> I said, yeah. Well, actually, Riley says he likes to be surrounded by girls. <laughs> I mean, what a hot blooded male wouldn't like to be surrounded by girls? Am I right? <laughs> um, he gonna get some. Well, no, no, you, you're, you're, you're way too skinny for me, girls. Need a bit more meat on your bones. I have a few burgers, we'll see about it then. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or veggie burgers for you, but I don't know what you eat, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Um, what? Finally... I assume finally. We, we've reached that point, haven't we? Yeah. Finally, what is it... What is the reason that Nima's sticking around, provided she is interested in sharing that information? Um, no, Nima. So she's only been with the party for a, a small amount of time. Um, and she actually, she actually went down to the citadel by herself, uh, and then just stumbled upon the party while she was doing her own thing. Uh, she was, she was actually there just researching like dungeons and shit and finding like secret, secret, um, knowledge. But then, uh, the party took her in and protected her against, uh, uh, like all the dangers, um, she's she's enjoying their company, um, and she doesn't feel like they threaten her sort of current objective. Uh, yeah, and she's a, uh, and she feels like she can contribute as well. So she's pulling her own weight. Okay, okay. So, does anyone want to ask more about Nima? She's a bit more, a bit less known. To the party, so you probably have more questions about for her. She's not really, really had an opportunity to properly talk with everybody. You don't know anything about her, if anything. So, so I mean, yeah, I got a bit of a one for you. What's your obsession with drawing everything we come past? Well, you know, sometimes we're a bit on a time thing, and you're you're there with your quill and your. If you well, like drawing, that's fine, but you you have your moments. Well, that's the point exactly. You don't really, do you? How often do you come across these kind of circumstances? I try to take the opportunity whilst I can. I want to retain this knowledge and document it, and then I can probably study it later. Okay, yeah. What were you doing yeah. before you uh, were here? I was a... Um, what was I? I was a scholar. I... Uh, work in a I studied in a library and researched certain things uh, I particularly like sort of very dark and interesting creatures um, that I, I hopefully don't encounter too soon because they're very dangerous but if if we do encounter them you'll you'll know what I uh, am interested in because I'll be drawing it rather than fighting it okay so this is a field trip for you? Like, uh, a learning well, trip? 
Uh, not so much of a trip. Uh, I, I'm going to dedicate the, uh, the next few years to to uh, this kind of um, exploration. Uh, okay. I don't plan to going back to the library for a while because there's only so many, so much you can learn from books. You have to be uh, witness things firsthand to really get a mm -hmm. get the experience. You need that primary research. Yeah. Exactly. Do you have a family or anything, or is that like uh, anything which could kind of drag you back to a certain area? I do have a family, but I'm an elf. You what? Can, I'm an I'm an elf. I thought you so... said milf. <laughs> I do not. Have a family. <laughs> no, not yet. Um, but so there's I I there'll be. I could go 50 years without seeing them and go back. Uh, I'm not missing it. Okay. Okay. Do you, um, Freya, do you take any sort of, do you have any opinion on that specific part? You're also an elf, but you found don't yourself you... to be homesick, so. Yeah, don't you miss, don't you miss your family? Not even a little bit? Not particularly, no, they're quite boring. How old are you? I am. I'm 106. How old are you, Freya? I thought go? I I never wrote anything in my um, bio. Now How I old were you? I wasn't it like 102, but that was quite young for an elf, or is that quite old for an elf? That's young for an elf. Uh, That's young for an elf. Yeah, I was 102. Oh, I'm four years old, weren't you? I, am I the oldest in the group? Yeah, you are. You can now call me Madam. Madam. No. If you say so, young one. Yeah. Oh, oh. See, oh. I feel like I'm so. Oh God, it's David. 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 Craig David. <laughs> David. <laughs> Not black. <laughs> Not black. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is what people thought Nima was sticking around for, and obviously you guys are only just getting to know her. So you just, I guess you're kind of guessing at this stage. So, um, Riley just says studying, which isn't really much of an answer, unfortunately, because it's why she's staying. I suppose is she studying? The group. The group? <laughs> yeah. It's oh, all yeah. a social yeah, experiment. Yeah, not... <laughs> <laughs> I had a very bootylicious and that was it. Oh. Uh, Mike's bootylicious ass. What? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Sorry, did you want to elaborate a bit, um, Nina? Um, I feel like she's there. Um,. Kind of study. Uh, Roman, please stop it. Um, uh, study monsters. Uh, maybe write a book about it. And she, she probably thinks that she sees value in our party and thinks it's the best uh, idea to stay with the party. Okay. So basic, like what you see kind of. your values in the other character. Yeah, she sees her own values in me, pretty much. Which, yeah, because mm -hmm. that's similar to you, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. ah. Okay. Um, Bree says just knowledge and experience. Okay. Sure. Um, brief. Yeah. Uh, Torgren says, I guess she wants to find more things to draw slash study, question mark? She's weird. <laughs> yeah, these are And good. Freya says, um, all of the knowledge, I believe she wants to become a walking, talking library. <laughs> Do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, these are good. I, I wouldn't, uh, if, if these are voiced out, I wouldn't refute them or anything. I think these, these sound good. Yeah. All right. 
Let's move on to the other questions. We'll not be able to spend as much time, um, but I don't think we need to because that question was the most important one anyway. So yeah, you. Um, let's let's do, let's let's quickly write. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put. Um, okay, we'll go with in a different order this time. Uh, oops, I was gonna. I was trying to do it so that it would um, just shift and enter. Ah, shift and enter works. Okay. Are we just going to like answer these questions out loud to each other then? For no, ourselves? I'm just giving you ch giving you a chance to um, to prepare them, and then we're just going to copy. We're just going to chuck them all, chuck them all in. Um, uh, you can't whisper. Oh, I just realized you can't whisper. I think like a bunch of paragraphs. So yeah, okay, okay. As long as as long as we can be relatively quick about writing. This. So don't forget it's forward slash W. Like there you go. I've put that in there. Okay. Okay. Starting with Torgrin, who do you think Tor? Okay, what person in the party or otherwise? So it doesn't have to be someone in the party. Do you think Torgrin admires the most? Just, just a name, or just a, a person in his life? Do we give reasons or no? Not? no. Okay. Uh... I was going to read everything you write and then pull a random name out of my ass and say, "No, it's this guy. You're all wrong." <laughs> Just yeah, just that's what I'm Invent something. backstory just to mess with you. <laughs> okay. Uh wait for Charlotte. Okay. And what about Nima? Uh, bit hard though, I suppose. Maybe, maybe. Don't really know her very well, so but have a go. Nobody will get this right. Probably, but that's fine. Well, even though it's a, it's a name you all know, nobody will get this right. A name we all know? Yeah. It's fine. Just, just, just write, just write, yeah. Write, write something. Right. Uh, next. What about Torgrin? Not done Torgrin, Freya. You can do it again if you want. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Freya's a tough one. I think. I think. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Who keeps fucking with their mic? It's it's Amy and Mike. Well, what are they doing at, different like, sorry. at different times? Stop! Fucking. I keep on bashing them. Wait for Mike's response. Sorry, I, I really don't fucking know about this one, so I'm just gonna guess one. Be instinctual about it. Don't worry about it, because it's just a bit of fun. Yeah. Okay. But it has to be perfect. Uh, <laughs> interesting. All right. <laughs> so, um. Oh fuck! I got a confused. Oh whatever. Okay, wait a minute. Was that not supposed to be Freya that you were? No, that was meant to be Brie. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, just tell me what you wanted to say then for Freya. Um, and then also everyone do Brie as well. So do I do Brie as well? No! <laughs> okay. Uh, Brie's a double time, actually. Um... I don't know. I'm going to... Mm. Um... I... It's a... It's a... Toss up, but I think it's this one. Right. Or me. maybe. Actually, oh, no, no. <laughs> I like people vocalizing their, uh, their thoughts on it. Thought process. Yeah. Uh, okay, so do you want to. So come this up? first one is Freya. Okay. Right, and then. Uh, this one's Brie. Okay. Okay. Cool. You just sent that to us all. Not in <laughs> <laughs> Nice try. And finally, what about Rylia? If anyone wants to know, um, Erky doesn't have an opinion and he likes all of you. Although he, he in particular um, sees uh, Brie as a, a sort of a... a I don't... A shining beacon of someone who is resolute in her in her opinions of things, and therefore is worth 
commending for her consistent dedication to being good and to seeing positives in people. All right. All right. That's everyone. So we're gonna we're gonna do it this the other way around this time. So <laughs> okay, everyone. <laughs> This is what this is what people think that <laughs> Torgren admires the most. Oh god. So everyone except for Freya, who <laughs> thinks it's his father, says Bree. What's yeah. the real answer? It it is in fact Bree. Yes. Well done! <laughs> okay, what is the reason? I got for that it? right. Um kind of the same reason that Erky. Um Likes Brie, like the, the the steadfast, you know, sticking to her guns, always trying to see the best in things. It's kind of what caused him to have a change of heart when it came to the goblins. Wow. Um, in the Citadel. Yeah. Wow. Very interesting. Okay. So, there's a variety because not many people know who Nima is, but um, Freya thinks is just sort of thrown out there. The local librarian. <laughs> um, <laughs> Rylia thinks her tutor. Nima's uh, tutor, not Rylia's tutor. tutor. No, yes. Uh, <laughs> Bree similarly says um, her teacher. And Torgan thinks Rylia. So, what's the answer? Well, it's she uh, self tutored herself. So, she doesn't have a teacher or anything like that. Mm hmm. She, she was very lonesome until she came to this party, and she admires Freya the most. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, she finds yeah. her fascinating and and uh, and inspirational um, because mm. she she left her sort of confides confines. Well, um, I will look it up. <laughs> no, no, I already looked it up. You're right. You're right. Uh, just like Nima did, but she also does crazy things like transform into a, an enormous tiger and fuck shit up. So she Wait. she finds her extreme extremely interesting and and uh, yeah. I thought oh. no one was gonna say me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, that's reserved for me. No one likes me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, very good. Um. Don't all go be changing your answers now. This is <laughs> homework for no, I'm just kidding. Do what you want. Okay. Next is Freya. So, um, Nima thinks that Freya admires Maya's Torgren the most, while Rylia thinks, not too sure, says her family maybe Bree. Um, and Bree thinks um, her family as well. Um, it's quite funny because then Mike said just just Freya. <laughs> <laughs> Freya, but he actually meant to say Torgren. So, what is the answer? To the end. It is indeed Torgren. Oh! Yeah. Why does Freya admire Torgren so much? Um, because out of everything, I think we've talked the most in regards to like back and forth chit chat and stuff but i also admire his outlook on life and he, i i believe that he's very wise like although that he might so not sometimes make the best decision or you know he's he's definitely got a bit of experience behind him and you know i think she sees sort of like a father or grandfather figure in him it's yeah, funny because well, he's younger than you. Yeah, but like he—he he doesn't look younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> You're basically still a he, child. And he, yeah, the best accent. He's definitely much more sort of world weary than. That's it. Are. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I think she kind of aspires to have that kind of worldly, you know, take on the world and kind of the world's your oyster. Mm. Kind of aspect. Hmm. Very good. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Now, what do people think Brie admires? Who do they think Brie admires the most? So going back to what Torgrin says, Freya. Um. Rylia says her pet 
no doubt probably referring to Top Cat, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Nima says Torgren. What? Freya says the leader of the Lady Grey clan. <laughs> now, is the Lady Grey clan leader deceased or not? She is deceased, so I think she... I know, obviously, it would be like she would still admire someone that had passed. Yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah. of course, yeah. Just, uh, yeah. I just wanted to confirm that with uh, Brie. Oh, shit, sorry. I was <laughs> to... <laughs> sorry. to tell me about the Lady Grey clan. Um, no, actually, it is Freya. Oh, oh yay! yay. <laughs> <laughs> I admire the fact that she's gone out, uh, out of her comfort zone on purpose, that she's going to see the world and she's still got a positive attitude and seems genuinely nice and caring. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> that was when you play a good character. Okay. <laughs> nobody, nobody said Riley. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> <It was> said Nima. <laughs> Who do we want to leave the party? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Nina doesn't give a shit. She's, she's, she's happy, aren't you? I'm sure. Anyway, um, last but absolutely not least, um, <laughs> sorry, these are funny. Um, who does Riley admire the most? Um, Freya thinks a shard a lot, dragon from from Ooh. the place that you were uh, been exploring. Just fair enough. Um, Nima thinks herself. Nima. Just, uh, Nima and, loves Nima. And and Torgrin. Torgrin says Rylia. <laughs> 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 and Bree says Rylia Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> the dark oh, scholars. No. It. It oh, was. You meant to say Voldemort. Okay. Voldemort and also Dark Scholars. I think. Shlopin yeah, it was Riley. Actually, Riley. What character it was? Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> um. So, what is the answer? Um. It's her parents. Okay. Really? Although, yeah. Although they did um, banish her. Uh, is your father called Tom? No. <laughs> ha ha. Pardon? Just let her finish. Sorry. Um, just before she was banished, um, they gave her the tattoo. Um, and it's kind of some part of um, a magical uh, spell, maybe? On... Uh, Oh, Roman, stop it. Um, on. Um, Brian, stop distracting us. Cool? Just looking at us. I know. <laughs> so look at us instead. I'd rather look at her face, though. Because she's so pretty. Aww. Aww. Stop distracting her! <laughs> um, for immortality. What's a spell for immortality? Yeah, but it's not for. It's some it's sort of text on how to become immortal. And that's what she inherited from her parents. She hates them, but she does like them as well. And she's, so complex. She wants, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can. I, I mean, I understand, I guess. It's probably just. Yeah, but when you. Even though you can't. You kind of almost hate them for the hurt that they've yeah. put us through or still, you know want so badly for them to yeah. to, to, to and care she, about she her. understands if... why they have banished her because they are kind of uh, uh, they owned the academy and she was a top student and it's kind of like um a disgrace if others found out that she was dealing with the dark side. The dark. Did your parents have a bad experience then with this scroll? Um, uh, no. Like the part where she lives, um, it's forbidden 
to actually um, search for such knowledge. So why did your parents not just destroy it? Uh, well, she's been told off multiple times, but she usually sneaks in at night. But so, so they have it, mm -hmm. and they haven't got rid of it, and they just tell you to have it while they have it oh, themselves. Well, um, well, that's because they want to kind of keep um, these knowledge, kind of like, not destroy it, but just have it, basically. Uh, so you're it. from a family of... Sorry? You're from a family of hoarders. <laughs> uh, well, that may all make sense now, doesn't it? There are collectors. Shall we move on to the next um, question? Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to do this this one more time, and then the other two will just chat. Um, so because this next one sounds like fun to talk about. So, if your character wasn't an adventurer, what livelihood would they leave lead, and why? So same as before. Um, this time we'll start with Freya. So just want you to all put in a professional what you think they would be doing if they weren't an adventurer. Mm. If you, you can have fun with this. If you can, you can, you can be silly. But if you, I suppose at the very least, just try to be in character as you want. We're we doing this for Freya first. Is that sorry? Freya, yes. Freya. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Sorry, yeah. Um Okay. Next, uh let's go with three. Just gonna nip to the loo, I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Just write an answer soon, please. When you write 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 the answer to the uh question. God damn it. Truly gone. But she's Brie though, so it's Brie, yeah. <laughs> so she does have to write. Yeah, but if she's not back by the time we're answering, then we have to Oh write. yeah, no, to be fair, it's fine. I, yeah. Um That's a hard one. Okay, followed by Ima. No, I didn't. Mm. By the way, the answer is true. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's the case. That's what I wrote down. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a match! <laughs> Okay, who do I need to write about now? Nima. 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 Okay. It was very quick, actually. <laughs> you being was very quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh... The next person's going to be Torgrin, so have a think, but don't type it just yet. Okay. Uh... Okay, now you can type it. <laughs> oh shit, you said that. Oh. oh no, that was fine, right? Oh shit, cancel. Um, That's weird because I don't see it. If you send it to the wrong person. Who, me? 
No, no, nothing. Just. <laughs> Sorry, just. It's just funny. All right. And right here. I don't even know if this... Did you say Rylia? Yeah. I'm gonna go get a drink. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Starting with da, da, da. Starting with Freya, the answers were <coughs> <clears throat> Torgren said a hunter. <laughs> Nima said a housewife. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bree said a princess in a castle living <laughs> up and getting caught taught the piano by her nanny. And Rylia <laughs> said Gardener. <laughs> but what is the real answer? The real answer is teacher. Oh, okay. ah, any particular audience? Um, and what subject? Um, I would say archery. <laughs> she would teach. So she would teach archery to whom? Anyone? To the to the young to the young kids. So I used to do that whilst I was back in my home my home. Okay. Fair enough. Right, well, none of you were close. Oh, actually, Hunter Sorry. was probably the closest, so... Tom oh, gets a point! Yay! Yay! Oh, I did I did I did I did I Boy! Did I did think that Freya was going to be doing? Uh, okay, uh, Nina Sorry. said housewife, Riley said gardener, and Torgrin said hunter, and you said, obviously, princess in a castle, living it up and getting taught piano by her nanny. And the actual answer was... A teacher. teacher. Archery. Oh, teacher. All right. Bree. <laughs> um, Torgrin says a diplomat. Fair enough. Uh, Freya says a zoologist. Um, do they even... Sure, whatever. <laughs> um, Rylia says a wise old lady. Nima That's says a hermit. A hermit. What is the real answer? The real answer is that she when she was 15 and lived in the village she thought she'd like work in a restaurant but probably she'd be a school teacher <laughs> okay so so it's a, it would have been restauranteur but it's actually a teacher as well teacher of what i think it would be more kind of survival but it would be kind of the young kids so it would be life life skills Life skills. It wouldn't be in a particular thing. It would just General be a studies. well Pardon? <laughs> yeah. I, I know. I know what one of the lessons would be. It'd be how to talk yourself out of combat one on one. Yeah, or in combat in some cases. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally, sometimes get hurt. <laughs> okay. Everyone thinks that <laughs> literally two of you have said librarian and two of you have said scholar. <laughs> so, <laughs> um. So uh, Breeze just specifically said, though, scholar or a teacher so that she can collect knowledge quicker, which is interesting. What is the real answer? Well, it wouldn't be librarian because I wouldn't run the library. It's definitely scholar. All right. So she would just be just a general um, student. I'd be, yeah, I'd be writing books and, and researching as well. Yeah, that mm. makes sense. All right. Uh, so... Um, Torgrin and because everyone's got their names like like they've got their real names or they've got their character names. Torgrin and Bree, you both get points. Mm, yay! yay! Brothers, uh! <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell! <laughs> Torgrin's frothing out the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, One bonus okay. action. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, who got the closest answer for Brie? 
Hmm. I would say Riley gets a point. Why is old lady teaching students? All right. Yeah. Well done, you get a point. Okay, next. Yay! Uh, a Torgren. So, we've got... Riley thinks that you'd be a barman or a storyteller. Some sort of, some kind of bard, maybe. Yeah. Nima says you'd be a guard. Freya says you'd be a retired pub enthusiast slash pub entertainment. Retiring isn't a career. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly, but I mean, it's a trick than... question. You're retired. <laughs> you retire. <laughs> okay. And Bree thinks that he would like to think that he would be a wise mentor who people would come to. Really, he would sit in the pub and ramble about his life story. So they seem to all be very geared to the pub. <laughs> That's the real answer. Um, you uh, pithed Torgren. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking so. Guard isn't far off, it'd be more like sort of like a town, like, like the local town guard sort of thing. So the one that people sort of know and he just sort of. PC Plod! Yeah, that sort of idea, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Alright, Nima, you get a point! Yeah, boy. <laughs> uh, to be fair, the wise old man thing does kind of come into it as well, because I think that'd be an aspect he'd try and do that whilst doing It'd his be town like guardian. a community type of police. Yeah, like a community guard sort of thing, yeah. The PCSO. <laughs> he knows the people. But I, 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 have, I, have, I have law enforcement, okay? I have an act. <laughs> I have an axe! Fine. Uh, Bree gets half a point. <laughs> yeah! And finally, this is what people think Rylia would be. Nima thinks she would be a mercenary, which is like borderline adventurer, but just a bit more it's defined. Not... Basically. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, Freya thinks she'd be an alchemist. Uh, Bree thinks she'd be just a dark wizard. Or a scholar. And Torgren thinks she would be a researcher. What is the real answer, Rylia? Um, well, if it wasn't due to her being banished, uh, she would be taking after her father's establishment uh, um, in the academy. What was that? Huh? Uh, your father's establishment? What is the academy yeah. for? Right. So, so what teacher. would you be doing in the academy? Uh, teacher. Head, head teacher, a headmaster. Would you teach or would you manage? Uh, manage. Headmistress. The... So Makes yeah, you, really so you're more of a sort of like um, school administrator or something. Yeah. Um, all right. So, but someone who like helps run the school, but not actually literally in the classroom teaching. Yeah. <coughs> all right. Well. Yeah, none of you are even close. I mean, uh, Bree gets a point for being the closest for saying scholar. Yay! All right. Um, researcher, uh, Torgan gets a point too. All right. Well, Torgan okay. wins! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just I'm pissed. raging! I'm raging! <laughs> I fucking flipped the car in glee. <laughs> 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 okay, we're going to go around and ask, ask I'm going to ask all of you, um, and I want you to spend no more than a minute talking about this, if you can. Um, it just means that anyone can ask questions after. So I assume you've prepared all your monologues? <laughs> sure. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> starting with Freya. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to get some water and be right back. Okay. We'll just yeah. say that I did mine when they get back, so then... I did mine. No, it's too late. There's only what time for one mean? of us. Then. No, it's too late. I said it first. I she did say a maximum of a minute. You could have both done it. It's been a minute. Boom. Done. See? Now we've all finished. So that, that's that's what I hope everyone remembers um, uh -huh. Nima for. I thought that was really insightful about... Oh. Three yeah. at once, that's incredible. Except Laura's headphones are wireless, aren't they? Only <laughs> going through the kitchen. <laughs> she just, heard everything. I got up and then saw, oh, my bottle's there. So I held the, you know, took the bottle and then walked back. <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> Didn't realise, I thought I would have to get up, get a glass, pour it, and then come all the way back. Oh, what a struggle. Sorry, I do find it funny that I'm sitting here and you can just see me here. Yeah, you got a picture yeah. of yourself. Pretty fucking vain, God. Just, yeah. <laughs> that's just one wall. That's like the least. 
you know, yeah. bad wall. Fucking the one turn, in front the, of turn the camera a little bit and just completely. <laughs> fucking you shrine the whole herself. wall of photos for yourself. <laughs> yeah, no David either. It's literally just her. <laughs> she can't stay without the pictures just so she can have more of herself. It's just a reminder to him that, that I, I completed a degree and he's a. <laughs> yeah. He's done a couple of A levels. <laughs> not a snob like that. But, uh, oh, comes man. in and chokes slams Laura. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> well, he definitely could as well. Oh god, god, remind me of that horrible. Um, there's this Chinese league player who was streaming, and he like went full on rage mode at his girlfriend. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah, I think I told you about it, and I was. This really, is made really... national news. Yeah, I think it might have done. Well, I got. I was. It's really upsetting. It's really upsetting. Mm. You don't. You don't see anything, but you can hear him. Yeah. I was like. Yeah, you know, I pretty much. I was just like shocked. Yeah. Um, horrified. Horrified. Terrified. What was it over? Yeah. Was it like over a game? I can't remember why he actually flipped. He his was. Shit over. He was just. He was just playing league. Yeah. <laughs> and she was, I suppose, berating him, um, for something like, she wasn't being especially antagonistic. She's just being like, you know, why, you know, why you not win game? Whatever. No, no, like just. Why you not done the dishes? You know, probably something like that. You know, um, basically they were like kind of, they were like passively arguing, I suppose. But then he just suddenly like he just literally upends the table. The 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 table with his computer on it. Oh, up okay. up ends it, and then you just hear like. Sounds like he's beating her up. And he's shouting at her and calling her, calling her mum, as if like I suppose in like a in like a belittling way. Mm. And she's just kind of like distressed, and you can just sort of hear her kind of crying, you know, telling him to stop. It's really sad. Did he get shunned after that? Wasn't he? A, wasn't he, he arrested? Got mega. He got fired. Yeah, and he absolutely fired. Um, Our cannon. <laughs> banned. I think he was banned as well. Just a lot of, yeah, it wasn't taken lightly. No, I bet. Did he do uh, a public apology? But then um, she came forward and said, you know, oh, you know, it's not as bad as it as it seemed. Um, he didn't actually hit me. Um, and that, in not. reality, it was more just him who was just really being very aggressively shouting at her and throwing shit, but she was fine. Apart from the fact that she sounded really fucking distressed. But, it, you know. Hmm. Yeah, but... You do that you when know. you're... In your arguments, you know, you just... Is everyone back? Um... Is Charlotte back? No. I imagine, though, that, you know, when someone... You're like, hmm... Have you been made to say that? Oh, I see. Mm. It's worrying, yeah, isn't I see it? what you're saying. Um, but, uh... Just, I don't yeah. know the situation, it just seems a bit odd. It wasn't that she was being made to say that. I think it was more that she probably, you know, she probably just loves him, but just, and doesn't want him to, what doesn't want things to be worse, and he's probably really, he's probably feels really bad about it, because, well, clearly everyone was like, what the fuck? What is wrong with you? Really? Yeah, but does he feel bad about it, because... No, as in, this, yeah. is, just what, this is just what I assume is... The result, yeah. you know. I don't know. It's just one of it's, it's dodgy. Yeah, well, he's a piece of shit. Glad he's a piece Agreed. of shit. He can go fuck himself. Anyway, all right. Do we just go? Because if shot, I thought shot would be quick, but no. And do we? St who who wants to start? Any volunteers? Ooh. Sure. Me. Okay. Now, yeah, what's the question? What does your character want to remember? Uh, well, this is like her, her impressive knowledge and details of of the creatures of the deep. She's very interested in aberrations specifically. If there's anything she wants to be remembered for, is she wants to learn more than Volo learn about them. Oh, she, wants wow. to learn, she wants to learn their differences and their varieties. And even though he's gone into depth about their society, she suspects that they have differing cultures. Among how uh, determined, determined, determined by how they were created and stuff, and she wants to put forward and and put these theories to the test by, by going and seeing them firsthand. All right. 
Great. And in 50 seconds. <laughs> Slam. Um, so you want to be remembered f for your just your knowledge and how much how much you how much you and you put it into a book so people would be buying your book. You want yeah. to be a bestseller. Yes, although the wealth isn't necessary; it's more the recognition. Yes, understood. Great. Um, anyone have any thoughts on that? Any uh, seems about right. Or... I mean, Volo's Volo's a pretty pretty big name in the whole researching races. That's quite a big aspiration there. I have lost mm. the accent for a second for some reason. But anyway. It's alright. It's quite ambitious wanting to do more than Volo. I mean he's he's, he's sort of a big cheese in these in these circles, is he not? He's got a bit of a uh he's certainly got the biggest reputation. But I think his his work is touch, just touches on the complexities of such fascinating creatures. Well that's, that's... That's mighty ambitious, all right. All right, well, best of luck to you with that, and uh, see you in a few thousand years, I guess, because it's going to take you a while. Perhaps. I might need to borrow some of Rylia's lich to knowledge. Oh, to... Two, two liches, great, that's what we need. <laughs> the last long enough. Torgrin, what do you want to be remembered by, and why? Well, I mean... I, I do what I do because it's, it's it's the right thing. Like, I don't need to be remembered, but I guess you know if I had to be, I'd like to be thought of as sort of a a, a defender of the people, sort of a you know uh, a man of the people, if you will, defending the weak, helping those in trouble, that that sort of thing. I know it sounds cheesy, it's all oh, it all grates a bit, but you know just just be a bit of a a local hero. I don't want to go as far as being these these big wigs, these big names. Just you know, someone's going to think about. It, I, I that Torgan, he was a, he was a good fella. He stuck up for people when they needed it. Yeah. There's Aww. nothing uh, shameful about that. I don't think. I think more people thought that way. The world would be a better place. <laughs> ah. If everybody was so. more more ni nicer to each other, the world would be a better place. It's basically, I like that. Break. There's something from. Well, from the room, that, that, that literally is a. <laughs> is that actually room. a quote from it? Fucking hell. Yeah. Oh, you remember, if everybody, if everybody were nice to each other more, the world will be a better place. I can, I can hear Tommy Wizard's voice saying it. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I watched your video on it, by the way. Fucking hell, you. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Funny. I'm glad you liked it. Anyway. Yeah. That's assuming you did. <laughs> yeah, of course I did. I sent you a message about it on Discord. Oh yeah, you did. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bree? Bree? Okay. So, I want to be remembered. Hello? Um, on... Pardon? You're cutting, out. You're cutting out a bit, Amy. Uh, you uh, might, your threshold uh, might be a bit high. Is that better? Well, for yeah. now, yeah. Okay. So, I want to be remembered as the halfling from Grayswood who found the Rubus clan. I want to be remembered for being true for my word, kind, ethical, and logical. Mm. Well, logic's out the window, making peace with every creature you talk to, but <laughs> nice try. Okay, I mean, for all good reasons, but is there any particular reason um, for the, like, obviously you want to be remembered, you want to be remembered for finding that clan, but really it seems almost out of out of character that you want to be remembered for something like this um because really i always we always assumed that she wants to be remembered uh, sorry she wants to find the rubus clan for herself not for like any yeah. fame or legacy it's not a thing out of fame and legacy it's something i want to do for myself so if anyone was to remember for me then i feel like these are things they would remember me for so you, what you want to be remembered for actually achieving what you what you set out to do in a sense um is this I kind of like hidden I, I like hidden from the entire world would it be an achievement in itself to find them or are they just far away it, like well what i know about them is that is very little and i can't find much about them so i guess they are hidden but they're not like a famous clan that nobody's found they're, they're very personal to you yeah okay so i guess 
I'm just trying to establish whether it's a feat in itself to be able to find when you th- Yeah, when you think about it, you've got to think about if you were to if you were to die next day, like tomorrow, and all of your companions, you know, wanted to say some words, what would you want them to say about you? Okay, that makes more sense, because I was thinking about at the end of my life. Yeah, it is, at the, it is technically at the end of your life, but the end of your life technically could, could be. be it could be in a year, let's say, in a year. But what what do you want your companions to say about you? How do you want to be remembered as? Truth my word, kind, ethical, and logical. Because even when... Okay, yes, you may not agree with the logicalness. Logic when it term, comes to fighting. But in terms of like problem solving and... Going around situations in a different way. What is going on? Why does I'm it keep so on? sorry, sorry, just because Nina Nina's posted a picture. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, Amy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Eggplant. <sighs> Mike, what are you trying to say? Wow. Oh wow. Hang on. I'm not done yet, give me a second. I'm not better than one. There you go. Is this is this like one version of the, the picture? But the other version. <laughs> Why is, is this? Missing a willy. Why? Why? <laughs> Why like just <laughs> just why? <laughs> I'm sorry, Amy. Do you want to continue? Uh, where was I? What do you want to be remembered by? What do you think we would be saying? Okay, like? so um, hope, kind, logical, and ethical. So I mean that, that that's fair enough. That's all. So you just people to remember you as. I mean, logical might be a bit of a stretch, but ethical. But yeah, it's sure. what I want them to remember me as. Yes. Absolutely. She can believe she's logical, even if she's completely not. Mm-hmm. Seeing things from a different angle. Mainly from angles below. below. <laughs> yeah. <Come on. laughs> oh, you right. could have answered the who do you look up to question so differently. <laughs> Anyone above four Everyone. Foot five. <laughs> All right. Uh, Riley. Um, who do I look up to? What was no. It? No. Sorry. I forgot the question. What, what does your, does your character want to be remembered by? Oh, um, she wants to be remembered by, um, that she, she has, she proved, she has proven, um, that seeking dark knowledge is not a bad thing. Okay, so you, like you secret. just, you want, you want someone, you want people to understand you. And to yeah, you better stop being an asshole then, because <laughs> they're gonna just associate the dark knowledge with the assholeness, aren't they? Well, she can't help it. <laughs> yeah, she can want all she wants. But... <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, in time she it will change, depending on what happens. In our Wait, what do you want us to remember you as? Prostitute. Uh, uh, someone that has obtained uh, the dark knowledge. But they're not like uh. really evil. Oh. Okay. So the first person to um, conquer the darkness, the, the the dark magic, but it's actually a pretty chill gal. Yeah. Doesn't get corrupted by and it. Isn't a yeah. total monster, evil, maniacal, crazy person. It is not, <laughs> it's not driven mad by lichdom, as all other liches are. Currently achieving neither of those goals. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> She's an asshole and she hasn't called the dark knowledge yet. <laughs> Alright. Last but not least, Freya. What does your Freya character want room. to be remembered by? And what? Um, like despite all, she, she not made a leap of faith. I think that's the wrong word. That she was able to step out of her comfort zone and I wouldn't necessarily overcome her fears, but she kind of... She was brave. 
Yeah, exactly. She she stepped out of her comfort zone that she if if she can do it, anyone can do it, sort of thing. So I think she wants to maybe one day inspire other people to do the same to not lead a life that makes you unhappy or limits you okay that's that's really nice okay i haven't missed anyone have i no okay i don't think so and lastly um and we'll be quick with this one because kind of summarizing a lot with you talk but nima where do you see yourself in 20 years she sees herself as being extremely powerful and conversing with the likes of mind flayers and beholders, but being able to because she's so strong, but and therefore being able to learn much about them because they wouldn't dare um, try to uh, uh, like take control of her. Um, they they respect her and then they let her into their society and. Wow. And that way she learns about them. Would you say that Nima's arrogant? That's in 20 years. Would you say Nima's arrogant? <laughs> <laughs> People have achieved more. Jeez, that's great. That no. That's all. Um, Freya, where do you see yourself in 20 years? In 20 years' time, I would see that I would be in front of a nice fire with my husband and kids oh. and telling them the stories of the time I stepped out of my comfort zone and went on an <laughs> adventure. Oh, you're just like you're just like the Bilbo in this group, aren't you? Yeah! Sorry, Brie. <laughs> I'm going on an adventure. I'm going on an adventure! <laughs> Alright, same question. Free. Right. So I see myself with my family. <laughs> I, it'd What's be hard to comprise of. Comprise. Sorry. There, there's more. There's more to it. Um, okay. more to my family. I think it'd be hard imagining not living like this. So I'd want to pass my wisdom on to the next generation. Um, my family would. Well, probably be the Rubus clan and my long lost cousins my family um, aunts, uncles maybe I'll have a few children I don't know maybe Top Cat will still be there and Top Cat can have a litter of their own <laughs> how long did panthers live for? how long does what? panthers? Yeah. I don't know. And it might be like magically enhanced since it's like magically bonded to you. I'd say things. 30 years isn't unreasonable for a panther off the top of my Also, head. Uh, long lost cousins. I don't, I've not got any genetic links with them for a well, while. I think so... long lost is it? Oh, yeah, I haven't met them for a long time, so it's fine. No, it's more like. <laughs> it's not in the we don't remember. Our family split like over 100 years ago. <laughs> it's kind of fine. Yeah, like 20 uh, half, halflings live until about 150, so that's not even like a single lifetime. Half. Okay, about 500 years. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long half is it? <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Torgrim. Torgrim wants to keep doing this same thing if he can, as long as his knees ain't given up by then. Okay. Although, ha how long do um, dwarves live for? It's like 300 years, right? Something like that. I'm not sure, actually. Uh, about 400, I think. Yeah, 345, oh, three, yeah. let me just check. Oh, I plan on doing this for a long old time, yeah, you know. Oh, no, 350, okay. There's always more people out there to help out, and more societies to... Well, not societies, more communities that need defending that. I'll be doing this for a long old time, yeah. You watch me. <laughs> and Rydia? She is having a piss. Okay. Well, that's her plan for 20 years' time. That's yeah, that's what she wants to be remembered. Oh, right, yeah. No, Sitting on the toilet. Yeah. That is one like, way. Taking a dump. Oh, no, you said piss. No one's taking it. So she's a bird, it's the same thing. So we'll find out when, when she gets back. But in the time, you guys are. I feel 
do you guys feel like you've strengthened the bond between one another, or do you feel... I feel nice and fleshy. Alienated. I feel like I understand everyone a bit more. Now we know the truth about each other. We feel more well, distant now, now than ever. Now we've confirmed that Raya, <laughs> although having more of a backstory, is still a massive bitch. Nima's yeah. also worse than I thought she'd be as well. I actually... I'm not sure what I think of Nima anymore. She's a bit... <laughs> That's exactly weird, what I but... thought Nima was like, though. Yeah. Totally ain't observant. People didn't really know what she was like. Did they? Do you feel like you... Arrogant academic type? She... So it's just another one of Rylia's, basically. I think she's very different to Rylia. Rylia's very hot-headed and selfish, whereas Nima doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I'm trying... I would say that... Rylia has more unrealistic expectations, but I don't know. Twenty years time converts with beholders and mind players. Mm, okay. I mean, twenty years is a vague number, isn't it? Like she's an elf, isn't she? So, like, the 20... question said twenty years. Yeah, but it, twenty it's, years. It's right. basically in the, in the future. Sometimes it's not like she's got a plan to be exactly twenty years from now. It's like that's her goal. So. Mm. It's fine. It's, it's fair enough to interpret it that way. Wasn't the intention, but it's fine. <gasps> he just bursts through the door. <laughs> he just kicks the door down. I think. I think okay. I'm definitely be conversing with Beholders in that time. Just no. give yourself the right magical equipment, then easy. Or to their face. You give them, get oh. yourself like a mirror shield, and then they won't dare shoot their ears at you because they'll just bounce right back at them. Okay. She will build Baldur. So. Okay. 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 So you're you're traveling and uh you can start to feel the chill come in as you uh, approach the mountains. Um the horses are struggling a bit the uh with the steepness of the slope as you travel up the mountain path. Um you arrive in old and dreary town, Lazydale. Hmm. Should we wait for? I suppose Nina's still peeing. Yeah. Yeah, it's still coming right out. <laughs> still, oh, it's, you got an ensuite bathroom or something. They've got a strong flow. Yeah, yeah, it is ensuite. Strong flow. But she has the door open, so I can check. I see. See, I gathered that was the case, but it's just I mean, fine. that's that's not even true, but. Um, yeah, obviously I realise that this this we've done this for quite a while. This, this session, I don't know how you feel about that. But, um, I enjoyed it. Like... I enjoyed this session. Yeah, I think it's good. It's not like every session is going to be like this, is it? I think it's good to have a session like this every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, especially like after a big uh, thing like a whole module, because everybody's would have changed and grew in that time. And mm -hmm. it might be good to do this again, like halfway through this module or at the end of it or something, to see if it changed in that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Does everyone agree? Yeah, yeah. definitely. I agree. Okay. So say we all. Oh, <laughs> reminds me of Bastard Galactica. Can you try okay. to pee faster? You know. Nina. Nina. She doesn't listen to me unless I knock on How her. long can she pee for? It's like my no talking Michael. I think she's struggling to squeeze one out. I thought she said she was peeing. Yeah, clearly not. Okay, okay, okay. Probably. Um, hemorrhoids or something else. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see then. I'm going to use this time to go get a drink. Okay. Okay, I should put them away now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
I wish there were handouts. I think it's just because um, it's the issue they don't they don't have. Um, they don't have many in ways many many like maps or anything in terms of like the actual town itself. So I mm -hmm. I have to uh, basically just create one sort of. Um, oh, for fuck's sake. I want to be Sabrina's able to move. Fast. I'm trying to move the player token. I need this back. I need to be able to fucking drag it to a specific map, but oh, how annoying! What stupid design! Fuck. I should buy it. Like the token's just not appearing on it. Do you see a different map? Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. Let's need a back now. Yep. Our characters are going to be the size of entire streets. We are giants amongst small people. Mm -hmm. Eating cool You have to kind of, um, like, don't don't take this particular um, map as literal. Yeah, just because it's actually more mining town, but it's the closest one with snow that I could find. Oh, okay. Okay. Just fucking pretend. I thought you were going to say the scale wasn't right. I'd be like, yeah, I, I gather that. <laughs> it's actually much, much, much smaller. <laughs> this is a town for ants. Yeah, no, it actually is. The uh, the locals of Blazingdale, in fact. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. Right. I'm just kidding. You arrive in the cold and dreary town of Blazingdale. Home to 2,000 residents. Quiet mining town hosts mixed races, though predominantly dwarfs. Yay! I feel as though the journey to this place was entirely uphill, so the fatigue, fatigue has set in. But you can feel your fingers numb and your ears hurt due to the altitude. You're met with mere cursory glances by the residents who walk with purpose to their destinations. You are dressed in Rough, fur-lined leather coats and thick boots, holding tools that are no doubt related to the mining industry. So you pull in with your carriages, your carriage or whatever. Hmm. Um, us. You can say something, Mike. I was going to ask, mostly, just, these are mostly mountain dwarves, right, as opposed to hill dwarves? Uh, I mean, it, they're just, yeah, I guess mountain dwarves, but it's more just, it's a mining yeah, sorry, I don't, I don't know how actually important the difference is. I know it's different, obviously, when creating a character, but I don't know in terms of favourite if, like, the mountain dwarves and the hill dwarves are, like, vast different or if they're all just dwarves that come from different areas. No, uh, I mean... It should actually say in the description if you had the page. Oh, you packed it. Yeah, it's in the box next to me, I'm sorry. There'll, there'll be slight differences, but I don't think it really matters. Yeah, different cultures, okay. I think. Um, but, I mean, dwarves are dwarves, right? They're not majorly different sorry, they okay. all like they like beer and they like work and a good punch up you know i don't know just no that's that's pretty much how i've imagined my dwarf so yes like they like tight spaces <laughs> <laughs> okay so tight, tight, tight. okay so banner gets off the carriage and goes right get to it then where could she be uh, i guess we should probably be somewhat Somewhat conspicuous. Uh, a bit of discretion might be a good idea. And he kind of like looks at Riley and goes, Maybe do you have a hood? Perhaps. You kind of look like a dark wizard. <laughs> would a hood really help that? It would cover her crazy coloured hair. At least. Um, sure, do you have one? Don't, don't you have your own sort of travelling cloak? Nope. Oh, you know that it's... Do you not... Do not think you're a little bit cold? Maybe we should all just hurry to the local shop to grab some better clothes. I mean, I, I've got my cloak and I'm feeling quite... Feeling okay. But all of you look... You should be uh, getting a bit more cosied up. I have a coat. Okay. You're good. Thanks. I... I mean, I just... Jeremy don't wear a lot of clothing. Oh yeah, well, I get it. You're a dwarf, hot, hot-blooded. 
Hot right. blooded dwarf berserker. Anything I'm feeling them very, very chilly. Can we at least get in somewhere warm? Yes. Why don't we stop by the inn? We've had a long journey. Oh, yeah, that sounds smart to me. All right. Are we going to the inn? Anyone have any? Because um, Banner admits he knows absolutely nothing about this place. Just fuck. This is where it is. Yeah, let's go to um, the inn. It's always a good place to start. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Um, I don't know where it is. So, if you guys see any signs, uh, let's uh, let's ask somebody. Um, okay, Nima, you gonna go ask? The eyes of my owly. What? I can just look through the eyes of my owly. Owly? Is that what you're calling no, your fucking owl? Good. <laughs> There's only one owly, Nina, and it's not yours. <laughs> owly? There's actually an owly. Are you serious? Richard's owl in it's called owly. Tuesday session is called owly because owly with an eye, like Ari. It's like he just came up with it on the spot. <laughs> 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 Wait, you mean like Biff? Boff. Yeah. <laughs> Boff. Nice. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you can do that, but Ooh, we can ask. You can do both. I'll ask. Okay, I'm gonna pick a guy at random who's walking on the street. Excuse me. Do you know where the? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in a rush, lady. And he walks off. This will take a second. Okay. Mm. Uh, I'll go for another person and try asking them. Okay, I'm gonna send my owl in the sky and look um, for its eyes. The other one, kind of like. Sort of awkwardly, like moves out of their hands, like, oh, an elf. What? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be rude to my friends like that. Hey, okay. I, I'm just doing it. I'm just here to do a job. See ya. Okay. Oh, rude God. son of a god damn! They don't know any manners around here. <laughs> are there any actually? Are there, are there any signs around here? Is it all pretty much just? In... Um. So with uh, Riley as owl, um, you can what looks an in. So there's a little sign, a little swinging wooden sign, okay. um, which is oh yeah, the name of the fucking inn. They, they've, I can't see one anywhere. Oh, they haven't named it. Oh, well. So I pretty much just gonna. I'm just gonna have to hold on. <gasps> oh, the empty net. <gasps> Not quite. Hammer and sickle. It's called the Griffin Nest. Huh. The Griffin Nest. Griffin's Nest. There it is, guys. Little, swing, little swinging sign with nest on it. So I, I don't think we're going to be welcome here. Um, do uh, what's his face? Well, no, I can talk our way in here. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Do we know the race of this uh, lady we're seeking? Do we know anything about her? Um, I'm afraid not. Um, you just know her by name. I'm afraid. I'm afraid so. In notes, in writing, Definitely here and there. Not. Definitely a girl, though, a female. I guess I just kind of assumed because of the handwriting being so <sighs> nice. Face palms. I mean, uh, Salisa, that's quite a feminine so, name, isn't it? So all we got here is a name and a letter. Is that is that what you're telling us, Banner? I, I mean... Just be honest with us. We need to know what we're working with. Uh, look, I've... I... I uh, okay, I... It's just a theory at the moment, but I'm really, really, really do believe that there's something going on, clearly. And, you know, some, there's some kind of link between all the people that keep going missing in, in all these recent towns. And I... Ugh. No, it's okay. We're, we're happy to look into it, but you have to tell us what you have before we start throwing our weight around. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. So, uh, okay, right. So in one town, there was a, a series of disappearances, and again, literally no trace. They just disappeared from their from their homes. Um, but people kind of just went, "Oh, they disappeared," and sort of gossiped about it, and then did nothing. Huh, and then happened right. again, and people just did nothing. And so I was fed up. I decided to look into it, and I found out that the you know, in a neighboring town, same thing was happening. And then I got to thing Bobby, what's it called? I got to Oakhurst and then I got an actual name. So I looked into Bellac and I met you guys and so God, sorry, the noise is coming out of that room. 
And so, absolutely. Oh, sorry, there's no music suddenly. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Stop. I'm trying to get it to play this particular playlist, but it just, like, it keeps playing the same song, even though there's multiple songs in the playlist. But then the combat one works. Like, fucking it, Have it's you so tried cool. cycling out of shuffle and putting it back in shuffle and then playing? Yes. No. I no, usually so. Right. Um, and so, um, what I mean to say is, is that don't you find it rather mysterious that there are so many of these small villages where people are going missing, and then I finally understand that Belak's one of the people that has been kidnapping, or rather he's been luring these people into the Citadel and then taking them, and then you find this note on them. It's absolutely outrageous. Everything is coming together. Uh, just He's sort of like sweating a bit. Yeah, all right. We get it. Let's yeah. let's find this. Let's find this lady. It's all oh. sounding pretty suspect. It's all good. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Just sort of don't all don't worry. Like... Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Griffin's nest, right? Yeah. Let's let's go to that. Did did did, did you uh did you got did you find it, Riley? Uh, I think yeah. Yep. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get you a pint and we're gonna we're gonna sit and calm down for a minute, okay? Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Okay, so you will go to the Griffin's Nest. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so you meet the bartender there. Come, someone called Sar. Oh God, how do fuck do you pronounce this? Sarel. Sarel. Say Sally. Sarel. 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 I think we go with. But... Yeah, it sounds a bit nice, doesn't it? Sorel, She says. Hmm. She goes. Ah, hello. Welcome. What can I get you? Uh, a pint for me and my friend here, and I'm just going to roughly pat Banner on the back as I request this pint. Um, sorry, patting Banner on the back. Why? Sorry. Well, me and my friend here, as in I'm oh, saying me and my friend Banner. Uh, Banner sort of goes, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, thanks, Torgren. Uh, okay, so that's, say, two copper each. Sure. Two each, is that sorry, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'll have some water, please. Uh, okay. she sort of l looks, at, looks at you like, uh, all right, then. Look, she like eyes are up, eyes are up. Like, yeah. Well, it's nice to see uh, some elves. Where have you guys come from? Surprised you're up so up so far north. And she kind of like pulls her hair behind her ears so that you could see her pointed ears. Oh, then, like, you're an like, elf too. They're like rounded a little bit. Oh, my uh, my mother was an elf. I'm here. Oh. I'm here on business, but I sometimes man the bar anyway sorry water okay not the nicest i'm not gonna lie it's not like it's not like southern water mm. she gives you like a cup of water got sort of a cloudy look to it great <laughs> anyone else i'll have a mead please tell uh, tea yeah mead hold on just like rifles around the back like, uh, yep, got some left. These people don't really drink mead. They all just drink the dark stuff. And she points to the uh, the two casks, uh, not the casks, <laughs> the two cups that, that she's, she's given to um, Torgrin and Banner. The simple stuff is the best, I'm telling you. Oh, I wouldn't call that stuff simple. That stuff knocks me out if I ever touch it. God. Anyway, here you go. So, Thank um, you. She puts like a, well, no, she doesn't because the place is barren, isn't full of any fighting like umbrella. Anyway, <laughs> uh, anything for you to Can I have some tea, please. Nothing for me. She kind of like looks at you and goes, "Ah, uh, I can get you a hot wine." Yeah. Great. All right. So mead is, I guess, probably a bit more pricey. Three silver, three copper pieces. 
Lovely. Water is. You can have that on the house. <laughs> it's gross water, anyway. It's <laughs> exactly. Uh, hot wine is two. Two pieces. Yeah. Does Riley want? Sorry. She says nothing. All right. No, suit yourself. If you want grub, you have to wait for a couple of hours. The uh, kitchen's not open. What time of day is it? Are we in here in the morning? Um, I don't think it really matters. We'll, we'll say like early evening. Right. So there are people walking around in the town, but they seem to be like knowing where they're going. They're always walking with a purpose, like they're going somewhere. Busy, is this, busy. Is this a tavern that most of us sort of how occupied is it? Um, yeah, it's just a few people. It's not like dead. It's not really busy at all. Um, just sort of people just sort of drinking. Are like, they kind of mainly drinking. dwarves? Uh, I'd suppose so. Like sixty percent, and then you've got some humans. Uh, this half of which as well. Maybe like two halflings, perhaps. Um, oh God. Half orcs as well. Oh, right, cool. Okay. Ah, oh, half orcs. I like half orcs. Got the right attitude to things. Better you relate to them a lot, don't you, Tolkien? Oh yeah, looks and everything. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean that. I didn't. <laughs> but not, not that there's anything wrong with half orcs. Though. They're perfectly sensible in their own way. Okay. Um, I think I would stay at the bar to drink. Okay. So you're, you're sitting with me and Banner then, basically, because we're just out of the bar too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, would you guys go and get a table? Would you guys stand around awkwardly? Or... <laughs> We'd get a table. Okay. Let's get yeah, crazy, sir. So, yeah, Erky will come and sit with you guys. Uh, I'll that the team Just sort of be like looking around, like, isn't this exciting? It's, I've never been to this place so far north. It's pretty nippy, though, isn't it? That's per Nina's picture. Because <laughs> she drew nipples. Nipples. I don't know if you're satisfying her sexually, Ron. Why would she feel the need to draw such gratuitous sexual images? <laughs> She's frustrated and all. <laughs> yeah, she must be. What else has she drawn? She draws a lot of naked girls. She does actually, yeah. Um, I want to strike up <laughs> a conversation with the bar lady. Sarel, yeah. Is that her name? Sarel. Sarel. Yeah. Sarel. Sarel, um, Sarel, yeah. So you're currently here working, or you have other business here? Uh yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm uh, my brother's working in the mines. Just we're just here. It's to be honest, they just—it's a busy place, and they'll pay us. They'll pay us by the day, so it's just sort of like quick way to get some easy income. It's tiring work for him, though. Um, <clears throat> I occasionally help uh, do bits and bobs around the town, um, but yeah, we just we just stick together. Oh, so, okay. Uh, not brother. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just stick together. Uh, so we just have a little place nearby. Not brother. So what was what was that supposed to be then? Oh, sorry, I meant to say husband. Yeah. Husband, right? Okay. Uh, Why not is both? He, is he <laughs> <laughs> according to Bree anyway? Um, <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> I don't have any brothers. No, they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um. Is, oh, uh, you wouldn't mind me asking, just, is he a, a dwarf? Oh, my husband a dwarf? No, mm. no, no. He's human. Ah, oh, okay. That would be a funny pair, wouldn't it? Not at what? all. What was that supposed to mean? I have absolutely no A half elf with a dwarf? Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought dwarves would go for half elves. I mean, I mean there are many people in this world. There's many people in this world, young one, but, uh, you know, there are some people that where there are some places where there are half elves that go for dwarves, and I wouldn't mind, except that I'm married to a human. 
I don't think about these things, but uh, you do you. Uh, all right. Okay. I mean, it's just a off off from Marco. I've clearly had a had a well, nerve, Sarah. It's a li- I'm a little sensitive about this. Okay. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> You're not pigeonholing me. <laughs> um, I'm sure you'll find someone, honey. I'm sure you find someone. You've got like you've the got a great talking. Thing. It's the alcohol. Leave him alone. <laughs> so, uh, your husband does he? Or how? What's mining work like? Is there anything interesting in the mines? What do you mine here specifically? Oh, it's coal. That's coal. Um, mm. uh, well, one of the one of the main sort of mines. There's a, there's a there's a few around, but this is town to be honest i mean if it if the if the uh, work starts to run dry then at the moment they're in need so it's fine why'd you ask are you just curious yeah i mean we're new here i like i uh, uh, my party will vouch that i am the kind of person who likes knowing the details about things oh, oh. She, she definitely likes to know the details oh yeah I mean, yeah, I mean, fair enough. I mean, I know more about the, uh, I guess, the general comings and goings of the people in the bar, but the actual work itself, not so much. Hmm. We don't tend to talk much about work, to be honest. I mean, he talks and I kind of just sort of listen, I suppose. Yeah. Do you mainly see see miners in this uh, bar or... Or any oh, other yeah. in- interesting characters come along. Oh, okay. I see. I see where this is going. She sort of looks at you. You're looking for someone, are you? Well, uh, we're not here by chance. We're looking to stay. And yes, if we find some a specific person, that would benefit us. Yeah. Okay. Well. Well, maybe uh, I need a little bit more uh, encouragement. Perhaps I would uh, to rack my memory if I've seen anyone. She looks over to Riley and says, well, Riley can be very persuasive. Riley, she's not even really sitting with... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But I say, look at how she's dressed. She's she's quite the adventurer. Hmm. Quite adventurous, you might say. If you uh, know what I mean. Well, not to sound like super arrogant, but I knew you were adventurous the moment you walked in. You had literally a band of various races, various color hair, <laughs> young, and you've got weapons. Oh, yeah, that. What else could it be? Pretty obvious. Also, you have a banner that says Torgan's tits. <laughs> <laughs> You're basically giving yourself a win. You have that two half carrying the banner for us. Who made and there's a tall elf in the group that's going, I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does she have like a tip jar or anything like that? On the. Or a tip jar. Uh, like, just where, give her a sack. Okay? Where Torgan. Torgan. Give her the sack. <laughs> Of gold. Um, no, nothing like that. No, you'll probably okay. have to. Well, I will slide over five gold pieces. She she takes it and goes. All right. Maybe you can uh, describe her a little bit. <sighs> Fucking looks at cock. What's his face? Well, do the, yeah, Bella <laughs> says, and she sighs. She says, "Okay." Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh she would be uh her name's Selisa. Don't actually know what she looks like. Yeah, that's about all we got, I'm afraid. Is that, is that helpful at all? I know he's not. She goes Yeah. Okay, so you've got a name. That's I can work with that. If you had a description I might be able to give you an answer right now, but I'll uh I'll look into it for you, if you like. That's much appreciated. Uh, I want an insight. Absolutely. See if she's just taking Oh, first roll of the night, and he fails it. Well done. Wait, you say fail. Maybe six not, not. six doesn't mean fail. I My know. fuck. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Probably, maybe not. 
you uh, trust this is a safe gamble. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, much appreciated. Okay. Because, to be honest, we have a lot of people coming in and out, and I don't generally ask for people's names, really. And since, yeah, if you're not going to give me any information, I need a little bit more time. Uh, but we do get like, the occasional weirdo, put it that way. You don't mind if we uh, spend the next few days here, residing using the, like, could we rent rooms here and stuff? Absolutely. Wouldn't mind one bit. Excellent. That sounds okay to peeps. Yeah. Yeah, what's for me? Yeah. Oh, I could do with a decent place to sleep. Hmm. We've been on the road for two weeks. Yeah. It's, you know, it's it basically, I think it's what, it's three pieces. Pretty average, sort of meh kind of beds. But it's still better than sleeping on the side of the road hmm. or in a cart. All right, so um, you can ask you more questions. Uh, I mean, I think I personally, for now, have finished my conversation with her. Okay. I'm sort of gonna. I don't know. I'm gonna try and talk to Banner a bit more. I don't know. All right. Okay. So Banner, you got all this punches and and so on and so forth. Did you, did you have a plan when you came here, or were you kind of hoping that you'd? stumble across an answer because you must have some way you want to go with this information right yes um to be honest i just i, I know it seems like i'm sort of really weirdly driven by this but i just i just am I, what if there, there's some really dark goings on okay and i mean this is a pretty sh it's a pretty definitively shady letter I... if we can find out who this lady is or man i suppose i well. assume I heard a story that there was a there was a person named Lucy that was actually male. That was weird. <laughs> oh man, you wouldn't believe the things I've seen. It's uh, yeah, Lucy the man, <laughs> uh, you know, Dave the girl. It's all sorts of weird things people get into. Whatever the whatever floats the boat is what I say. I will point to slam my tank onto the table. Anyway, I just imagine she's a woman. That's, I mean, I just imagine it. That's. Well, that's a, I mean, it's, it's a fair bit. That's a fair bit. And that she, you know, she's probably sort of maybe um maybe she's like a, a wizard or maybe she's a um warlock or something perhaps she uses me i don't know i just that's what i imagine someone with power right someone someone really evil i mean if she's gonna be you know making demands for thralls and all this sort of stuff then yeah yeah why not but i mean yeah yeah exactly exactly so one thinking is that we um, spend enough time here that we uh, wait for her to arrive and uh, then we spring a trap and uh, capture her and then we interrogate her and okay okay save you're the going... world I like the keenness but there's a few flaws in the plan one we do not know what she looks like <laughs> second issue is we do not know how powerful she is third issue everyone here might be her friend and we can send up getting ourselves killed but I like where you're going with it, and we can work with it. We can, we can work this into a better plan. Okay. Well, give us some time. We got a bit of time. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, maybe we should uh, talk to some more people, see if they've uh, heard of someone called Salisa. He just like totally, totally like disregarding the last comment. <laughs> I yeah. I, I sort of shush a bit. Be careful with that name. We don't know. We don't know what it means around here. Just. All right, I know the bartender said she'd help us, but you gotta be a bit wary. Right, right, yes, obviously, right. So uh, you you sit here and relax a bit, and we'll we'll go around and uh, we'll ask some questions. Okay. And um... uh, could you you got that letter on you still? Can we have that for for reference purposes? Sorry. Is it like the 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 letter that had? The letter that we found on, um... Druid, just... dude. Yeah, Belak's corpse. Does he have that, or do we still have a hold of that? I think he Because we gave it to him, didn't we? Yeah, he, um, he hands it to you, whatever. Um, do you, what, do you want to remember what it says? No, it, well, I mean... Yes, I guess, but I'm more doing it just because of the fact that I don't it on him. 
No, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, um, let's see. She says this, where is it? I've got so many notes, I have to go through. I think you pasted it a bit further up. I might, I just find it it's easier. Oh, I did, didn't I? Yeah, actually. Yeah, go to that. yeah I'll paste it in, it's fine. Oh yeah, I see it. Armor, oh, Mr. Grisp. Okay. So, uh... I, I wonder what master she's referring to, which means that there's there's clearly some kind of hierarchy. Aye, aye. Either way, it, wouldn't you agree that this is something worth looking into? Yes. Anyway, it, I I realize that we've traveled all this. I'm just, I'm just. You, you, I just feel bad saying, that I don't know keen, more. You're energetic, you want to help, that's great. Let us do our thing, and we'll we'll get you to help out as soon as we can, yeah? <clears throat> yes. Um, I might spend some time in the library. Find some names, anything, any stories. Um, and hopefully this isn't the next sort of target for uh, missing okay. missing people, if you know what I mean. Sure, sure, just... Be careful who you talk to and what you tell them. Do not tell them the name of who you're looking into. Keep it vague if you can. Uh, right. Right, right, Torgrin, yes. And he decides to uh, take his leave then. I sort of shake my head a little bit. Uh, why do I feel like that guy's going to be the death of us? <laughs> <laughs> right, so... What are you doing? Well, I'm going to sidle over and rejoin the rest of the group and sort of say, all right, well, there goes Banner off to do some research in the library or something. Okay. What are you guys all thinking? Well, girls, I should say. There's no men in apart from me. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, Hi, okay. I didn't see you down there. <laughs> it's okay. I know I'm quite small. <laughs> what I feel like we should... What do we should do? I feel like we should go and ask around, see if anyone's heard of them, but obviously we shouldn't go and say that we want to confront them, maybe that we're just interested. Well, maybe we don't use names. Maybe yeah. we keep it vague. Yeah, just, keep it just vague. Just ask around, anyone new in town, that sort of thing, yeah? <laughs> Remember, yeah. This, this is a person that's interested in, in, in thralling people, and there may be thralls in this town already mm -hmm. so then if we go outing that we're looking to find her we've already made i've already made a risk by announcing it to the bar person but yeah if yeah no i get that yeah so just yeah be be vague and just hopefully we can find more hey radio you could become a thrall and live forever I, I don't think they get that ability just for being a thrall <laughs> they lose a like sense of Self, and yeah, she did they, say that was fine, and they're but they're like completely attached to the person who thralls them or whatever. Well, else them. Oh, so if they if they, if they die, then yeah, <laughs> basically well, fucked. One thing that does occur to me, uh, I sort of really have to voice at this point. They don't know what's happened to Belak yet. If we need to, we could use that. If we need to. Do they know who, and uh, does the letter make it seem like they know, have they met Belak? We don't like, know, I'm face. making an assumption. They should, they should know who they are, um, from what... Oh, yeah, they, they, if they, yeah, okay. But, uh, whether they've met them or not is a different thing. Are you, are you suggesting, like, we pose as... Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, well... Good. Or, Belak's supposed to be sending thralls. We could say Belak sent us. That's, that's pretty much what I was getting at, Bri. Oh, okay. I'll just Yeah, don't use it straight away. We, we don't want to tell everyone anyone if we run into this, but if it could be useful, we could say it. Hmm. Yeah. Right now, I think we're best off just asking a few questions. New people in town, that sort of stuff. Don't draw too much attention. I'm probably going to ask okay. those guys over there. Just if they want to have a few drinks and see if they know anything, to be honest with you. So, but if someone asks, why are we here? Uh... Travellers. I mean, we just, yeah. Just on yeah, passing through, I mean... Wait, money, is it, mining is town? Blazing Dell on the way to anywhere else, or is it pretty much middle of nowhere? 
uh, Laura? I'm sorry, say again. Is Blazing Dell on the way to anywhere else, or is it pretty much isolated in the mountains? Like, it's a dead end, effectively. Yeah, it's somewhere in between um, Mirabar and what's it called? Sorry, it begins with L on the it's on the on the sword coast. Oh, I had the map. Oh, it's here. Uh, really? Just second part. Basically, it's it, yeah. It is fairly isolated. Mm. It's it's the town that's by like the mining town, so they they typically are fairly out. Um, sort of a stopover for people. They can they can do trade in this town as well. Um, is it? Does that make sense? What what is it that you need to understand? Well, because so we're trying to figure out like if someone queries us, why are we here? Like, is saying it's just passing through on the way to in the cert town actually a reasonable thing to say, or is that going to just sound like a heaping pile of bullshit, basically? Um, I mean, maybe it could, it could maybe L Luskin, 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 Luskin. 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 Yeah. Okay, like maybe. But uh, a bit of a stretch. Only because you have to travel like quite far out, up and up, to to get to Blazingdale, because you've got to go up into well, the, into the kind of into the mountain. Right. So uh, we could say we're here. So for... Pardon? We could say we're here for. For, for what? what? You keep cutting, you keep cutting out. out. Seasonal mining work. What the fuck? You could say that you're here for. <laughs> um, Seasonal mining work. I mean, um, I got a few bits on me from. Good luck with that. From, uh, from the Citadel. I, I just sort of opened my pack and show you all the silverware that I nabbed from before. I mean, we could swing that with trading some stuff here, I think. I got a few yeah. other bits and bobs on me. Sure. You know, dwarf trader doesn't sound too unusual, does it? No. I don't think any race of trader sounds unusual. True, true. Anyone's allowed to trade. You're right. You're right. Uh huh. Um, as you guys are chatting, um, a man walks over to you. A fair-haired, fairly aged, dressed, roughly, but not roughly. So, he looks like you. You know. It's got some level of wealth. You guys, I'm sorry, but um, I can't help but uh, notice that you guys are from not from around here, and uh, get the sense that could you, you might be the people that I'm looking for. Um, uh, who would you be looking for? I uh, a group of. Adventurers? Ah, uh, go on. Well, all I can all I can say is Does that we'll mean I should stop now. right right now then? No no, I like it just sounds like this is a long like a long piece of information. That it wasn't going to be Okay. Um and he he present he sits down with you and he presents to you a broken blade. And he goes, "Do you know the famous Smith, Dergedon? Dergedon what? Dergedon the Black. I.e. the one that's in this scroll I have right here. We found in the dungeon way back when. Leave it there. Um, the man the man that you've met is called Baron." So, Baron. Surname Nasher. He's a, he's a Baron. There's Baron Baron. <laughs> baron Baron. I just seen so says his name is Baron. He's a noble, but he's a Baron. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine he's called Baron. Baron Alf. Right. 
Okay. Well, I hope that was all right. Um, mm -hmm. It was bit, good. Bit random. Yeah. That was I enjoyed idea. it. Yeah. I think it's my favourite session so far. Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying that. It's cool. What is it that made it your favourite session? Ah, uh, like getting to know the characters. Okay. I mean, okay. I mean no. um, I, yeah. I mean, as, as long as that's obviously, I try to squeeze more of that sort of stuff in, just because um, the book is a lot dungeon dull. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I think it just because it's easier for most people to have a dungeon. You just you just do stuff and uh mm. it's easier for me as well you know, i'm glad that i'm glad that you appreciate the weird sort of stuff as well so i'll just mm. try to fit it in. it's only really appropriate to do it during rest yeah like it was a journey of two weeks wasn't it yeah yeah okay well um that was all right yeah thank you laura yeah, thank you very laura. much charles thank you Good for next Monday. What are you playing out? I said, are we good for next Monday? Yep. I yeah, think I so. I'll let you know if otherwise. It's not I think so, it's yes. My phone's died. You mm. got your brain though, and it's and it's memory. Does that has that died too? Or... No. She said <laughs> I think so. Not I don't know, to be fair. It's a good enough thing. Yeah. I think I'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. I will let you Monday. Know. What Monday. About, what about you, Mike? Are you okay for Monday? Monday will be fine. Yeah. When are you moving? Sixteenth. Ah, Saturday. 